The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, blank. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two absolutely excellent stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Woo! It was a little bit of a delay there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm kind of a delayed reaction. Yeah, pretty much. That's but, basically uh, my reaction time to everything really yeah um i'm actually very excited about this episode scotty uh oh because it sounds like you've got your voice back no not quite it's still it's there but it's not all not all there well i'm just curious to see what you're gonna blame your fucking horrible things you say <laughs> on this week because last week you were making the worst fucking jokes ever and not getting anything and um you kept blaming it on your voice, which is kind of like a serial rapist blaming their crimes on their pants. <laughs> Feet pants. Yeah, yeah. these fucking, these pants, I swear to God, they fit so bad. It's like, suddenly they're just down at my ankles, and then what am I supposed to do, not fuck something? Yeah. <laughs> uh, before we move on, uh, also another excellent stand-up comedian. He is the 2021 Wichita's Funniest Person, Derek Alders. Woo! Yeah, there you go. Right. Go fuck up. That was a lot more yeah. rapid response. Yeah, 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 that was a, that was a. They were expecting it at that point. Sure, I yeah. warmed them up for you. Yeah, but for what it's worth, it was worth, a cold crowd coming into it. Right, um, but just so <laughs> we you need were a warm up guy. Oh, do we? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. We should get somebody like Jerry Seinfeld to yeah. come in and warm up the crowd. Absolutely, every I don't fucking think he's week. Doing anything? Yeah, I. Probably not. Probably not. You want to text him? <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you yeah, would. Yeah, go ahead and text him like, for us. What's the deal with these podcasts? <laughs> but um, but actually, uh, Jeremy, you forgot because I actually made you laugh last episode. Not with your words. Yes, I did. No, with your fucking ill-timed fucking <laughs> rim shot. Okay, fair enough. Doing your fucking rim jobs <laughs> yeah, over there. That's right. He said no fucking way. Right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> oh Seinfeld. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not shocked. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, guys, if this is the very first time you're listening Does to you know a- about Manscaped being a fucking sponsor? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, but if this is the very first time you're listening to one of these episodes, <clears throat> this is the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. This is in a this is sorry, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, all of them are pretty much targeted towards me, and I'm okay with it. Yep, go fuck a bucket of rattlesnakes, there Scotty. You go. That's uh, one tally one. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is also you are the tally whacker. That's mm -hmm. right, <laughs> tally scratcher. Um, but also you this tally is, band, right? <laughs> <laughs> like it. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Got it. Don't forget to bring a towel. <laughs> I'm done guys. That fucking warm me up. <laughs> okay. I, I put everything I had into that. Right. <laughs> but this is also, uh, an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Well guys, we got, uh, we got quite a bit to talk about uh, over the last week in sports. We've got a lot of fun stuff that we're going to go over to like uh, we normally do. We've got real shit, horse shit, bad advice, overrated, underrated they questions. They know, Scotty. They're not, there's a bunch of new listeners. No, no there's, there's not. not. Yes, there is. Well, yeah, because you chased off all the old ones yeah. with your fucking horrible shit last week. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but these ones, they're new. They're new. So we got to you know give them a heads up. Uh, but we also have oh, a... Oh, really bring him into it. <laughs> Thanks, man. You're a regular fucking silver tongue devil. <laughs> That's me. Uh, but we also have another draft, a shitty situation. But before we get to the, the meat of the episode, we like to talk about ha what happened to us over the last week. We call it our week, week recap. And uh, we're going to start off with the Mr. Derek. What? What'd you do? Lots of baseball. Lots of baseball. Lots and lots of baseball. Yeah. Uh, and a night or two of drinking. Which, mm -hmm. I mean, that's fucking kind of what I do in my free time. I yep. get, but what else is there to do? I'm in fucking Kansas. Right. You know? 
I'm Cheers. not going to procreate. I don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. And nobody else wants me to do that. Yeah. Plus, it's, it's a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah. I like to just kind of be the guy that just lays there. Yep. I'm the half-assed fucker. <laughs> yeah. uh, You've been banned from the fucking ice skating rink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, for being too good. Right. Yeah. No, uh, I actually had a a buddy of mine had. I'm going to next week. I've got a big weekend going on. I'm going to Kansas City for the weekend. Uh, going to go watch a Royals game. Watch my boy Rizzo at first base. Uh-huh. Uh, so I'm, of course, I'm an autograph collector. So I'm going to see if I can't get Rizzo to sign a ball for me, and I uh, have him sign both. Yeah, I thought I could. Sure. So I, uh, I'm going to KC, and so I was talking to a buddy of mine, and he, like three or four years ago, these baseballs went on sale at Walmart, like official Major League baseballs. They're normally about like eighteen bucks, seventeen bucks, something like that. They were marked down to like four dollars and fifty cents. So he drove to all of the WalMarts in town and bought all of them, like you should. Yeah. So he he's like, I'll just give you some. So I go meet him after the game on Saturday, and he's carrying one of those. When you go to a stadium now, like pretty much any stadium, you have to have like a clear bag if what? you're carrying any kind uh, of bag. Yeah. It's got to be completely clear. And so he comes in with it, and he's got it in the bag, and he hands me the baseballs, and we chat and we leave, and it was cool. And then I kind of started thinking, mm-hmm. how funny would it be, like if, say, you, I'm going to the Royals game or you go to fucking a Cardinals game or whatever, mm-hmm. and you walk in the stadium and you've got one of them clear bags and all you got in there, just a big old dildo. <laughs> <laughs> well. Proudly displaying it. <laughs> just why? And, and like, what's the. You're not displaying it. You got it in the back. Yeah. Right? It's yeah. concealed. Yeah. I'm concealing carrying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and what. What's your plan? Like, do they make you take that out of the bag and and put it back in your car? Because technically, it is concealed. Uh huh. What do you do? Maybe you're just wanting to take some BP. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Or some DP. Right. Whatever. (laughs) BP, DP. You can't do the DP by yourself. No. Got to have some help. (laughs) Yeah. I I don't know. We got to ask the Buffalo Bills fans. That's what they like to throw. Oh, I wonder how that works. Yeah. That Buffalo fans, let me know. I like to think that Buffalo fans have a bunch of bags with regular upholstery on them, but like a design of a clear bag (laughs) on the outside. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that, that just looks like they've got regular bag stuff. I think them. I kind of think they keister their dildos. Yeah. In. Here's here's what really <laughs> impresses me about that. I don't know if you guys have been to the dildo store lately, but they're not cheap. <laughs> And well, they're you've just got throwing your... them out on the field like they're fucking nickels. <laughs> well, you've also got to watch what you're doing with them. Because, I mean, you've got your basic rules. Your dildos and your dildons. Absolutely. Right? <laughs> yeah, there's certain <laughs> things you're not supposed to do with dildos. Right. Yeah. Scotty's got that rule. Book. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of wrote some of the rules. He's kind of an authority. He, he answers dildo questions on Quora. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> fucking prick. Uh, anyways, did you do anything else? No, no, just baseball. And then really? my wife and I went out and got shit hammered last night. Nice. Impromptu. At least you can do that with your spouse. That's fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we get. She's actually pretty cool. So yeah. So I did good. Good. Good for you. She fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. What'd she do? Married me. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. She's never going to recover from that. Nope. It's impossible. Mm-mm. You should get mad at her for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like she's a waste now. Yeah. <laughs> Be like, what the fuck? fuck were you thinking <laughs> i was telling the story about the girl i used to date before her and i when my wife was sitting next to me and i was like yeah this this one girl i dated right before katie the one i like to call that the one that got away she, <laughs> <laughs> man i think my arm's still bruised i'm sure <laughs> she probably fucking stared a hole through your no fucking she forehead. beat the shit out of me. <laughs> okay her <laughs> name was katie too but we called her good katie <laughs> <laughs> nice uh shit. Clean, well, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> uh shit. Well, I I actually had um, quite a quite an eventful week for those of you guys that are watching uh, the YouTube podcast um, or the YouTube show. I am wearing the the jersey and the hat of uh, our minor league baseball team's um, alternate identity that I have known about for over two years, and I couldn't say a fucking thing about it for that long why'd you go telling everybody i didn't i wouldn't even tell you fuckers but i am super pumped it's like my favorite thing in the world i've i've buying so much shit you what? realize if you'd have put that word out that would have gotten back to nobody probably <laughs> this this web i don't know if you've heard is worldwide right and uh, <laughs> 
that is a very local regionalized thing. Yeah. And we talk a lot about the wind surge. <clears throat> yeah. And I'm guessing most people are like, oh, fuck. I'm going to guess that's prime fast forward time yeah. for most people. 15 seconds ahead. Yep. Fuck, hour the f- ahead. Why are they still talking about the fucking wind surge? <laughs> because it's the turbo tubs and it's fucking cool. Sure it is. That's why. God, when I was at the games this weekend, one of the guys upstairs is like random. His son likes to go before the game and catch like mm-hmm. batting practice, home runs and mm-hmm. stuff. And so we're up there in the control room and he gets a text. He's like, oh man, my son's got two balls. <laughs> I, go, I go, yeah, most yeah. most sons do. Yeah, and he just did, started. He did he not red. when he was born? Right? Did they? That other one finally come in? <laughs> no so, shit. so I'm laughing about it. And as his kid, his kid walks in, I just look at him and go, "Hey, what's going on there? Two balls?" <laughs> so, so that's my nickname for his 12 sure. year old son. Way to go! His fucking two balls. Of course it is. Um, a 40 year old man <clears throat> calling a child two balls. Sure. Other thing that happened. What could go wrong? Right. Nothing. The other thing that happened to me and Derek over the last week is we shared that video of uh, of us saying that we do not scratch our nuts and smell our fingers afterwards. We're not fucking lying. I it's a first of all it's a pinch and roll thing anyway, and secondly I don't I don't fucking sniff my balls. No. We are not lying. I scratch my nuts. Scotty smells my fingers. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's like let me smell that. It's pretty good down there, buddy. Yeah. yeah. I'm like thanks. Ten four. Smells good. He gives you the old. <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're good right yeah uh, but no we are not lying uh we don't do that uh but anyways uh next thing it's like on borat when they're getting ready to go. <laughs> right <laughs> spray my back pussy <laughs> <laughs> uh next oh, next shit. thing uh this, is, this actually has to deal with all of this so we got we got kind of a weird idea that we kind of started talking about uh, about a week, week and a half ago about possibly doing a TP, triple yeah, penetration, triple penetration on Scotty. No, <laughs> I don't know how you do that. Huh? Three dicks in the ass. Scotty. Oh, got it. Okay. Mm. Uh, but no, we, we would which is hard. why I've got this clear bag. <laughs> 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 right. We got to have a, you. We got to have a divider because if we touch, me and Jeremy mm-hmm. touch, then we're we, right. Yeah, you know the rules. But uh, anyway, <laughs> you wrote them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't want me and Derek to do anything gay while fucking you in the ass. <laughs> right. We're supposed to talk about it's, sports the whole time. Yeah, it's a weird fucking rule that you wrote. Right. Uh, but no, and no also, woodwork and talk. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Just keep on doing that. What? What is that? That was, that was an that, awful noise. That's a peacock noise. That is a fucking peacock with downs. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Hey, listen, right. there's got to be tarted peacocks out there. <laughs> yeah, they're, they go to WrestleMania. <laughs> they <Right>. sure do. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyways, so we've, we've actually uh, briefly talked a little bit about this, and uh, we're kind of putting feelers out to see what you guys think. Uh, coming up in October, it will be uh, our 200th episode. So kind of as a celebration, we've been kind of tossing the it idea. It feels like 2000, honestly. I, I know. Uh, we've been tossing around the idea of, of mass suicide. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, but no, doing a, an actual live podcast here in Wichita around that time um, after baseball season. So it'll be middle of October, right around there. We should go to Delaware for it. We, oh, fuck. Someone wants to fly us out there, man. Absolutely. Because they've got a lot out there. Yeah. It's a pretty big place. Um, but yeah, so they should fly Vorchets out there. Yes, they we should. Could, I think that's where just, we're planning to have it. By yeah, the that's way. where we're planning to have it here in Wichita is at Vorchets Lounge. Uh, we don't have dates or anything like that yet. We're still trying to figure out the actual, you know, uh, what do you call it? The the details. De- thank you. The My details. Pleasure. <laughs> yeah. The deets. <laughs> the deets. Um, but that's we also we also want to do a show only if there were going to be a lot of you listeners and fans actually there. Yeah, uh, so I don't yeah. think people realize there's a lot more work that goes into putting something like this together yeah. than what you realize. So that's why one we're you know starting so far out. But also, if there's no fucking interest in people coming, then no real point in continuing on it. So, Absolutely, yeah. I mean, no no harm, no foul. If you don't feel like coming, that's fine. Um, we're not going to do it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Clear bags, too. I'm, I'm going to yeah. say, what, probably a couple of days after this episode drops, we'll yeah. put up on all of our different social medias, Yeah. you know, the message that we're going to be doing this, and we want people to chime in. If, one, if you're interested, and two, you got to have both of these criteria if you can come to it. Because... Yeah. 
we'll have a lot of people i'm sure who are like man i'd love to come but i'm in georgia it's too far away and yeah. while we do appreciate that you would want to support us that information will not be helpful to us so <laughs> yeah. just yeah. keep that shit to yourself for now we're trying to ascertain a specific type of information and, right and, now. A, and a realistic um, amount of people yes. that would actually go and be a part of it it and would be very unfair of us to ask Vorchets to open up their doors and bring in their staff and everything right. for you know four people exactly so uh, so keep your eyes peeled for that. If we, um, if we yeah. go to Delaware, can we take a Carnival cruise line? Fuck yes. All the way there, man. That's what Damn I was hoping. Right. Straight down the Erie Canal. You know what? Uh, we'll yes. actually end. We'll start in California and just take the long fucking way there. No, we'll cruise. start here. Oh, okay. We'll start here. Go to sail to California. <laughs> go to yeah. Cheney? Yeah. All, start all at Cheney. We'll stop at Knoxbury Farms because <laughs> that's the premier amusement park in California, I like to think. And then, uh, yeah, we'll straight shot right on to Delaware there, from there. Yeah, I think there's a shortcut through Death Valley. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'll just... But definitely uh, keep your keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, it'll be oh, on, also yeah. if you respond on one platform, like say you respond saying yeah I'm I'm interested, like on Facebook, don't respond then on Instagram because that will give us like false feedback. Yeah, like we'll think two different people. Absolutely. Um. So yeah, but we'd love to have this. We'd love to uh, pack the house. Yeah. Exactly. And you know afterwards we'll probably hang out, take some pictures, hang out with the people, have uh, some drinks. Absolutely. Maybe a little light petting. Whatever. Yep. JP will probably be there to help uh, teach you to shave your nuts. I bet he doesn't show. Yeah, he might. Uh, but yeah, that, other than that, uh, that's my week. So, Jeremy, what's been going on in your life, sir? Mostly thinking about this fucking live show, man. Yeah. That's all I can really <laughs> do. Uh, I'm not really interested. By the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably not going to be there. Right. Um, no, uh, let's see. Uh, last uh, started Wednesday afternoon. I got sick as a fucking dog last week. Really? Yeah. I took What kind of dog? Beautiful fucking dog. Golden Retriever. Mm, purebred. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Damn th it's so smart. Female. Mm. Yeah. They get, uh, they, they get real bad health problems. Yeah. Sometimes they can get that mm. hip dysplasia. It's sad mm. to see that. So sad. Yeah. Yeah. And you got to put them down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I like to think that what made me so sick was Scotty's awful fucking jokes last week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that literally made me fucking ill. <laughs> Uh, Happy to pass it on. I felt like I got raped by your pants. That's uh, oh. that's where I was at. Okay, like you just pulled out a clear bag of dildos, mm. and just <laughs> shoved it right in my ass. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, I started feeling better Friday night, so by Saturday I was good to go. Yeah, mowed my lawn. Watch watch the Batman. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah cause it's on HBO or HBO Max. Yeah, and or, HBO now or, or Plus, whatever yeah. it is. Um, yep. <laughs> was Bruce Wayne not the worst Bruce Wayne ever? I, I just think Robert Pattinson was a fucking dud all the way around. Yeah. Just everything about that. There were so many things that I don't want to give give it away as to the specifics that I didn't like about it, but there were so many things that I'm like, just, come on, man. Yeah. Um, And I didn't really see it going anywhere. It just took forever. Uh, but that's, that's my opinion. I guess if you... Like shitty movies, you'll love this one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, yesterday, me and uh, our good friend Dan the Man, yeah, yeah. he and I went fishing. Oh, yeah. Yesterday. He knows a guy with a nice little lake on a, some private property, and we went and made love under the sun. I got <laughs> uh, I got sunburned. Yeah? Yeah. You can't tell. Yeah, you can if I take this hat off. Because <laughs> <laughs> the wind was kind of gusting, so I had to... I was wearing this very hat, uh, turning around backwards, oh. so it didn't blow off my head, and uh, so and my hair is so thin that I have red face, then a very clear line, and then where the fucking snap on the back is, <laughs> another fucking red <laughs> spot <laughs> right there. Yes, that it's perfect. Uh, it looks like I was going to a fucking Redskins game. <laughs> oh, your hat got was a backwards. shitty fucking face painting job. <laughs> your hat was backwards, so it's on your forehead like yes. that. Oh, yes. Oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> yeah. is I it? need to see this. You, I'll show it to you later. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's not as bad today as it was yesterday, but it's, it's not good. Oh, um, oh shit. But and I doubt That's it would so even funny. show up on camera. So uh, oh. fuck the sun. The sun fucking sucks. <laughs> I'm trying to get him to look up just enough so I can see it. You're not gonna well, see I it right now. I got the hat pulled down. Oh fuck! I had it backwards, and uh -huh. I should wear it backwards right now because that would actually leave everything the same color, <laughs> be the same pattern that it was yesterday. Uh, yeah, we caught uh, we caught some fish. 
yeah. mostly small ones. Fucking Dan yesterday is <laughs> pissing me off. We get in the boat. We get out there. First three casts, he catch three fucking fish. No shit. Yes. That, that sounds like Dan. It does yeah. like Dan. But they were stupid fish. Yeah. I caught, I caught the smartest fish for sure. <laughs> you should have tried the whole, you fishy, 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 fishy. I should have. <laughs> Usually that works. For that just, you don't even jump need right bait. in the fucking boat. Yeah, you, know? you don't even need bait. You yeah, do and then that. I got out the dynamite. Yeah. Boy, we were really reeling them in then. <laughs> awesome. How about anything else other than the Batman review? Do you have a show to review? <sighs> what did I watch? I watched a lot of fun. Here's what I've been watching. Okay. Uh, my wife is getting real sick of. Okay, or, did you guys ever get into the Lord of the Rings? Fuck movies? yes. Okay. Yes. Did you, Derek? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Amazon has this new series coming out like yep. in September. I can't wait. Uh, now I never read any of the books or anything. Fuck no. And so I wanted to get more well versed because apparently this takes place before, well before, right? Any of that shit. And so. God damn, I started watching fucking YouTube videos about the whole lore of Middle Earth and all that shit. God damn, was that an OCD motherfucker, that Tolkien? Yeah. Uh, I mean, he he created an entire universe. I watched a fucking documentary about him. He created a he, fucking language, bro. He, he started off by writing the Elvish language, and then he wrote stories by, by going, what kind of people would talk like this? <laughs> That's how he created those characters. <laughs> nice. Fucking is crazy. It? <laughs> yeah. <Is> it? <laughs> no, it's not. I, yeah. But so but no, I'm pumped for it. I, I want to be a fucking elf. Yeah. But it's the same fucking thing with like Lord of the Rings and how in depth they go. You can go and YouTube a whole bunch of like Star Wars shit, like the stuff that a lot of people don't know about the Star Wars stuff. I'd say that's probably about the same amount. But most of that is written by fans. Oh, okay. And just kind of like approved by George Lucas. Oh, yeah. J.R.R. Tolkien wrote all this shit except for the very last thing his son finished up. Oh. Uh, and he then died, didn't he? he? His son? No, I don't know. No. But he J did. J.R.R. did because he had too many fucking initials. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. He Anything got R.R. ran over. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, uh, The Hobbit, the he sent it into the publisher and uh, who read it and he's like, I don't know, gave the manuscript to his 10-year-old son who went, yeah, this would be great for kids like five to nine. And he's like, all right, we'll publish it. That's how the fucking thing ever got published oh in the first God. place. Every other publishing company turned him down. This guy gave it to his 10-year-old son. He paid his son, uh, well, it was in England, but like uh, a crown or whatever the fuck there. Oh, wow. The equivalent of a dollar. Jesus. For it. That was his finder's fee. I like to think his son actually got a crown on his tooth. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Like, we'll get you that dental work if you read this. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you, Shit. You, we don't have a lot of money, so Dad, read this, this book. And this thing's like five hundred pages long. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, you'll get through it a lot faster <laughs> if you want your mouth to stop hurting. <laughs> <laughs> Gargle uh, this salt water, huh? Right. All right, but we do have a lot of sports to get to and a lot of other things to get to. But before we do that, <clears throat> we're going to talk about our sponsor of every single episode. Blintstone Vitamins. That's exactly right. You can obviously hear that I haven't been taking those, by mm -hmm. the way. 10 million strong and growing. That's right. Uh, but no, our actual sponsor Wait, is... Wait, we're not sponsored by Flintstone Vitamins anymore? No, bro. What, what did happened? they pull out? They, they don't have enough money to help with us. Oh, sure they do. Yeah, no. our fee is way too high. Our fee is way Man of Barbera can't keep up with us. Yeah, oh, dude. Barney's or Root Beer, you have, there's no way. I'm telling they you. have plenty of money. I, I don't think they so. They got Root Beer money. Okay. Does, does anybody else feel that those are just those bottle caps, those Root Beer bottle caps? Fuck just yeah. in fucking Barney? Yes. Barney Rebel form? Absolutely okay. they are. That's cheating, if uh, you ask me. It is That's cheating. not a fucking vitamin. That's a placebo. Yep. It sure is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> most, <laughs> most vitamins are placebo <laughs> right. effect anyway. But anyways. I shouldn't have said that. Now they won't work anymore. Right. Our actual sponsor of every single episode is Manscaped.com. They make all kinds of excellent products to help trim your ball sack and asshole and other places mm -hmm. around your body. Uh, they also... Not your puss, though. It's Manscaped. Man. man. you got to be manly uh -huh. to do this. Um, what you you got to strap one on. You want to <laughs> shave around there. That's right. Pull that thing out of the clear bag, strap mm -hmm. it on. And yep, yep. D wait a minute. Do, do trannies count? They don't like being called that, Scott. Yeah, they, they're not huge fans. Are of that. you talking oh. about transmissions? Yes, five speed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You, well, that was one of the upgrades that they made to Lawnmower 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> they put in an automatic instead of your standard five speed. <laughs> okay, it was actually a four speed with overdrive, but yeah, it was uh, 
Yeah, yeah, you get it. Yeah. And now the 4.0 has automatic brights. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I didn't mean to spit on you. No, not automatic. Yeah. Manual. You can adjust them. That's true. Uh, that's right. The, the, the 3.0 had the automatic. Uh, all, all brights all the time. And the sensor was fucked up because they were just on <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Yep, uh, but they have... I used to get flashed by other guys shaving their balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your brights are on, man! <laughs> From house to house? Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> no, I always went down to the bathhouse. And that's where I hang out. Dude, um, I mean, up until recently, when I built that new shower, man, you couldn't get clean at my house. I had to go to a specialist. I had to, yeah. had to go to a bathhouse right. where other guys really knew how to scrub. <clears throat> yep, but they, they do have the... <laughs> they got in deep. <laughs> the, 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 the lawnmower 4.0, which helps with your balls and your butthole, um, and and it is a very excellent product. It has a ceramic blade, and it does not cut your balls or your dick up. That's the most important thing. Uh, it will if you try. If you really yes, try. but you got to fucking go at it. You got to be like <laughs> fuck you nuts and <laughs> just really like take the guard off and just hammer down. <laughs> yeah, that's you the only way I do it. I'm manly. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. Yeah, that's the only way I know how to shave balls. You got skin like a badger, though. <laughs> that is true. They have uh, that product, but they also have other products, such as the ball deodorant, which is why Derek and myself do not have to sniff our fingers whenever we put our hands down our pants. Yeah, see, check this out. Yeah. It smells delicious. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. It's got a nice bouquet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh, they also Your have... Your balls smell of lavender. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But they have the ball toner. They also have uh, awesome cologne, which is refined. That's excellent product as well. But they have tons of excellent products at manscaped.com. Do us a favor. Go check them out again at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES for anything that you buy, and you get 20% off of your order and free shipping. That helps you out, helps us out, and helps Manscaped understand that we are uh, doing all of these commercials word for word every time. Every Thank time. you. Manscaped.com. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get on to some sports. Uh, we had a... Uh, Toughen up, too. Take that guard off. Yeah, mm -hmm. you need to take the guard off. Um, but, yeah. I including that, the inner guard. Just go right at it with the fucking ceramic blade uh -huh. with no teeth on it. And just let it vibrate shit off. Not only that, it, it'll help a lot, but if you braid your pubes before you do that, it kind of helps it keep on nice and compact and tight. Just letting you know. Speaking uh, of that, Scotty, your yeah. fucking lawn looks like my grandma's bush. Yep, sure does. You really need to fucking mow. I know. <laughs> Your neighbors must hate you for yet another reason. Yes, they do. <laughs> they do. I do need to go out and mow. Uh, but anyways, I was disgusted by it. I'm sure That's probably are. what made me so fucking sick. Probably. Just knowing you sitting here with your lawn on the right. road. Uh, God damn it. The NFL draft starts this Thursday, April the 28th. Uh, Where's the keys to your shed? I'm going to go take care no, of it. No, yeah. No kidding. Somebody has to be the man around here. Right. Jesus. Um, <clears throat> so... Since since we obviously we got the draft coming up, I do have a question for both of you. Yeah, there are a lot of players that are still kind of locked in their situation on their teams, uh, like Baker Mayfield, like Jimmy Garoppolo, um, and oddly enough, since our last episode, um, Debo Samuel has now also requested a trade. Mm -hmm. Right? Do you see any of these guys that are trying to get out of where they're at? involved in trade deals during the draft possibly because that that would be a good way to like sweeten the pot on right. a trade deal for right. a high draft pick yeah for sure but a lot of people and i don't know I, I i haven't been really paying attention with college football it's just not my thing uh i have been looking at some of the draft the mock drafts and stuff but this is like one of uh, this is at least the vibe that i'm getting this class this draft class not one of the best ones is where I'm kind of hearing from a lot Not of for skilled positions. Right. Now, there's some really good like linemen and shit like yeah, that, yeah, which yeah, are yeah, yeah. really the foundation of a fucking team. You can have a decent offense and a great line mm -hmm. and do all right. Yeah. Just look at Dallas. Exactly. They look great. Sure they do. Fucking assholes. Super Bowl. Bullshit. Um, but what about you, Derek? Do you think, do you think any of these guys are going to actually get moved? I don't think so. I don't like you. You had you. I mean, what can you get for a Baker Mayfield? Garoppolo, maybe I, Mayfield. That, you don't know what's going to happen with Watson. Yeah. So you. I mean, why would you? Why would you do that? Worst case scenario, you trade Mayfield mid season. Sure. But you don't know what's going to happen with Watson and Samuel. Your team is terrible without Debo Samuel. I, agree. I don't see what unless Debo is going to sit mm -hmm. and not play. Yeah. 
then fuck no, you don't trade Debo Samuel. Well, and he doesn't want to be tra- or he doesn't want to be a forty nine anymore because he's tired of playing the running back. Like yeah, he that's, plays everything. Yeah, yeah, he does. But I mean, like he doesn't necessarily like that getting set up for all these big runs and because he's afraid he's gonna get hurt which i get it but well yeah but that's what's, what's, that's what's what gonna to make do? him money be a wide receiver be the star wide receiver on a team does he have that kind of speed oh yeah okay yeah he's good that's what's he, gonna make him money that's what i mean he's him. faster than me probably he 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 helped me win fantasy football last year solely i, I think him and a couple of other guys but he was my like all-star. personally he helped you win yeah he came I, over on the weekend so, you need to be fucking disqualified because that's cheating you're not allowed to bring in help one person per team scotty okay all right fine god damn you sorry uh but no i am throw the fucking belt away i yeah. knew he's been cheating this whole time yeah I uh-huh. knew it. two years in a row bitches he's the fucking ku a goddamn he, oh, he is don't compare me to ku ever 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 yeah I, you're not that good we're gonna have to vacate uh, that championship <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. I hope they do. We had no. You are the commissioner. Year. You can strip him of that for any reason at any time. You can. It is true. You are no I, longer the champion, Scotty. Damn it! It goes to Jeremy. Mm-hmm. I think you should congratulations, give congratulations, Jeremy. I appreciate that. You uh-huh. owe him four hundred dollars. Yeah. I do not. And a belt. I do not. <laughs> you really want preferably a belt? not the one you use to hold up your rape pants. <laughs> Oh, let's see if I can get it. What I are you fucking jacking off over there? This really seems like an off the air thing no. you should have been doing. This whole technical shit. It was getting ready to fall into my lap. So anyway, right. had to fix my. Was it gonna fall in there, or were you kind of pushing it down there, Scotty? Kind of, kind of pushing it down there. Yeah, I, I thought so. Look at the shape of it. I mean, <clears> come on. Dude, that ain't cool to do to mic stands in this day and age. Right. It's fucking twenty twenty two, dude. Get woke. Yeah. So uh, moving on from football, uh, I don't know. Have you guys been watching any of the NBA playoffs? Yeah. Yeah. What you got? I've been watching the Bulls. Bulls. How are yeah. they doing? Not good. Okay. See, down three games to one. Neither are the are my Raptors. I they may even be out by this point. I'm not sure. Um, but no, I haven't been watching. It's just not the same game. We got blown out. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, it's just not the same game. Hockey's got playoffs going on right now too. Anybody care? I didn't even know they were still playing hockey. Come on, come on, Canada. I haven't watched a lot of it. Okay, are the Blackhawks even in it? Do you know? I know. Last I knew, we were bad. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> tells you tells that you that was much last we're... year, right? Um, but no, other than that, uh, let's move on to baseball. That's actually the sport that we we actually give a shit about. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw this, um, but there was a, I believe it was a high school game, uh, North Central and uh, Weatherford. Uh, but anyways, uh, Josh Phillips, who uh, plays for North Central, he hit a home run, and then as he's rounding second, he ends up jawing with Owen Woodward, who was the pitcher. And by the time that he ends up rounding third base to head home, the pitcher, Owen Woodward, legitimately fucking lays him out, sprints and tackles him to the ground. Both benches clear. Uh, I don't I, I didn't really look into suspensions or shit like that. But uh, what do you do in that particular situation? Well, if he didn't touch home plate, then he doesn't get the run. I agree. <laughs> I think that's I, the first 100%. thing you do. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that's a that's a. Uh, uh, defensive run saved. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. That's going to help uh, that pitcher's war out a absolutely. lot. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, the first thing you do is you give that kid a scholarship. Uh huh. Because I saw this, and yes, he fucking laid that dude out. <laughs> I've I mean, not he seen this. Fucking laid him out. Oh yeah. Yeah. You don't fuck with Woodward. Everybody knows that. No. <laughs> no. I like to think he laid that dude out and then went home and fucked the guy's mom. Because <laughs> he's a fucking winner. Uh huh. I don't give a shit if he gave up a dinger. That's a fucking winner in my book. I agree. That's what winners do wholeheartedly. Um, so there was that, and uh, I mean, good segue into it. I, I got a couple of listeners actually sent me a meme. This is actually from Mike Primavera, who actually is a somewhat famous guy on Twitter. Um, but he made the comment that baseball needs an XFL version, faster games. Yeah, because the XFL worked real well, uh-huh. right? Uh, but he said uh, metal bats, no. uh, faster games all the steroids they want and only two outfielders but one is a wolf okay this is fucking stupid <laughs> all right wolves can't hit the fucking cutoff for shit <laughs> right but there's I mean, no rule says a wolf can't play baseball no there's there's not there's absolutely not and you're absolutely right on that Derek. but uh, i mean you can't coach up a fucking wolf that's a wild goddamn animal yes they're right. great at stealing bases but they'll fucking slide right off of it you can't fucking Take, teach them like a goddamn head first slide. Yeah, they man. sure can't do a hook slide. They're fucking, their knees all been in the same direction. Yeah, uh, but they can't overslide the bag because they got the tail, so you're okay there. Very true. Very true. I didn't even think about that. I know so, what you're talking yeah, about. Maybe this isn't a bad idea. Yeah, wolves are badass, man. Man, wolves are badass. <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they really be- 
belong in a in a different sport. Like you know, what's this? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, he did lay in the fuck out. <laughs> it reminds me of that fucking that scene in the Water Boy. <laughs> yes. Kinda. See XFL baseball. Bobby think, Boucher, he's playing. Uh, yeah, he's playing baseball for yeah. uh, you know. He's Man, Sandler's really hurting for money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he is. A, he can't make a decent movie anymore. No kind um, of Sanders, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'd like to see wolves in more of an obscure sport, like croquet. Yeah, that'd be that'd okay. be fun. That like be a fun. distinguished gentleman wolf mm-hmm. with a monocle, <laughs> bocce ball, <laughs> drinking tea, playing fucking croquet. That's where I'd like to see yeah. wolves. Okay, all right. Go they ahead. don't get near the credit that they deserve, but I'm going to tell you this, and and I know this for a fucking fact. They suck at baseball. <laughs> okay, fine. You you put a wolf in the fucking lineup, the only thing he's going to do is sacrifice bunt to move the runners along. That's all he's good for. Yeah. You put him in the pinch run, sure. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, who's going to fucking tag him out? But being part canine, you fucking throw it down there, he's going after the ball. Right. Well, I think get... someone's forgetting the 1974 World Series. How oh. could I? How could I? Yeah. What happened? When the wolf came up to bat. Oh. Bottom of the ninth, two uh-huh. outs, uh-huh. full count. Wolf over the wall. Mm. Over the fucking wall. He jumped he, over he, the he, fucking he wall. He completely jumped Man. over the wall. Wow. Mauled three fans. Oh. Now, Damn. okay, what happened was he hit it over the wall, chased it down, <laughs> jumped over the wall, and caught it. And he was out. <laughs> that's, that's really fucked up. That's runner interference is right. what it was. Oh, Absolutely. shit. Absolutely. Those fucking rules in baseball, <laughs> really. You, you would think that that's something they wouldn't account for, but sure as hell. Yeah. They've Section got 14. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Subheading C. App- appendage F. There you go. When a wolf hits a home run, <laughs> if he chases after it, jumps over the fence, and catches it, wolf's out. Okay. <laughs> Said wolf is out. <laughs> nice. And um, the opposing team has the option as to whether or whether or not make him into a rug. <laughs> Great. Man, I hope some fan is able to create a wolf on MLB the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. It would. Uh, but, hey, really what? big big news uh, sh- for the Chicago Cubs. So everybody... They're trying to fucking no, wolf. This is bit, you know? <laughs> no, even better. We need to. We need, sure. we need about yeah. three wolves. Probably. We need a whole pack. Uh, but, Damn right. Well, believe it or not, over this last week, Henry Rowan Gardner threw out the first pitch. Thomas Ian Nichols is his name. I know, yeah. but oh, Henry Rowan Gardner. Mm-hmm. Rosenbagger! 90s movies. God, it's, it's an awful movie. Have you have you seen it since, like recently? No, I haven't it's, seen it it's, since I was like 12. It's you fucking haven't learned bad. anything I did, it since bad. last week, have you? No. You're just as bad. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, but I did. I think that was Get cool. listener. Here comes a raping. Uh-huh. Uh, but no, I actually wanted to talk Here to... Here comes uh, a rape train. Do, do. Derek. Fuck you. Chugga, 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 chugga. Fuck you. <laughs> um, Kyle Schwarber gets ejected. Apparently, Angel Hernandez uh, called him out on a third strike, and he didn't like it one bit. Well, I'm going to guess that that third strike was up in the stand somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, a wolf caught it. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fucking wolf is washed up. He couldn't make it in the show. Uh, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> he's out there fucking selling popcorn and shit. <laughs> okay, fair enough. He caught it uh, in a cup of beer. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna just keep going. <laughs> I don't. I see no reason as to stop doing this. It's the best shit we've done in at least two hundred episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, but no, uh, Kyle Schwarber. God gets damn, Wolf has it. no plate dip- discipline. <laughs> Fuck no, he he was up for a cup of coffee with the Phillies. <laughs> okay, he hit well below the Mendoza line. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! He just fucking dogs it out of the box. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he kept bobbling it on fucking hard grounders to shortstop. Broke a couple of teeth, so now he's got the fucking company insurance. They had to pay for that. They weren't happy. Oh Jesus. Okay. Uh, yeah, but, I had to read a whole book to pay for it. <laughs> mm-hmm. All the fucking baseballs had to have squeakies in them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my shit. God. <laughs> Left center's covered in shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Those guys that come out and drag the shit around to smooth out the dirt, they had to send one guy out there with a fucking plastic bag every other inning. 
hell, right? Pick up the shit and water it down. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, God. Fucking groundskeepers hated him. <laughs> okay. But anyways, uh, did you see Schwerber get ejected? Yes. Uh, I was fantastic. Derek, was, you ain't going to like this. Wolf, love the shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, Angel Hernandez. They wrote that rule about the awful. runner on second in the extra innings. They sure yeah, did. They sure did. They, sure did. <laughs> they, they were like, how should we play this? Let the fucking Wolf decide. <laughs> <laughs> you want to fucking dictate yep. anything, Wolf? You figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, that asterisk behind that perfect game that Bumgarner threw is actually a wolf's paw. <laughs> He's the one who made that ruling. He's right. the official scorekeeper. I think that I think a, a wolf was Bonds's dealer. You yeah. think? I yeah, think probably. So. I think he was getting his roids from a wolf. Probably. Jesus, without a doubt. <laughs> oh my god! He humped it right into his leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, if I can. Welcome if, back if, to if, the Wolfcast, everybody. <laughs> I, say. I don't know if you've noticed. Not only did Bond, Bonds beef up real big, uh -huh. also didn't get Parvo. Yeah, he sure did. Sure did. Yeah. Yeah, so he got point. vaccinated, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, for the love of God, we're they moving mixed on. up his doses. Mm -hmm. Angel Hernandez <clears throat> has missed over 2,600 balls and strike calls over the last seven years. Okay. You should pay more attention. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I mean, just like totally missed him. Like it, I didn't see it, or no, it made the incorrect. Do call. it again. Yeah. Oh, made the incorrect call on balls and strikes. He's missed uh, twenty six hundred balls and strike calls over the last seven years. See, I don't like this. I know because this shows that somebody has no fucking time on their. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they got nothing but time. They have absolutely no life. They're really showing their ass. Uh huh. But at the same time, the whole point of not having a computer call the balls and strikes is the human error factor uh -huh. and umpires kind of get to you know squeeze the fucking zone if they want to and shit like that yeah but from what i understand most of his shit is pretty egregious it's bad i'm i'm more concerned about him with his uh you know outs what he calls sure. an out and what's safe I, I i agree um i'm more concerned with probably what would be the puddle of piss around the toilet that his wife has to clean up all the time. <laughs> right. You missed the fucking... You hit the seat again? <laughs> God damn it, Hernandez. Uh, it's one thing to not lift the seat, but what about the fucking lid? <laughs> <laughs> you just pissed all over the shower curtain. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> he, he does the, the fucking cellophane trick on himself. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but no, I, I, this is what scares me in, in all seriousness with this guy in particular. Um, he is known for being a terrible umpire. And especially whenever he's behind the plate and he's got numbers exactly like this, this is what is eventually going to push us to an automated yeah. strike zone. And I don't gonna want happen. that. I, I would be interested to hear these numbers against average umpires because they all miss some they do but not in seven years you're going to see a lot of balls and strikes i know but i really don't think it's very close when it comes to this guy like the, his his are really bad and i don't know how he's still employed by the mlb um but he still is somehow uh i know that some of his plays that guy on fucking tiktok mm -hmm. ball that guy yeah who is that he was an mlb know. player a pitcher, um, I think. I'm, I can't remember. But Rob, Rob Dibble. Yeah. Yeah, sure. The dibs. <laughs> <laughs> but he'll sit there on Angel Hernandez's pitches and yeah. ball, and he'll call a strike. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> and then there'll be one that's a foot out of the zone, and he'll call it a strike. Right. Yeah, he is bad. And, and the fact that he is still, he must know somebody, have be related to Manfred or something. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, who's your uh, least favorite baseball player again? Maybe they maybe they're related. Wolf huh? of all time? Yeah, you're, yeah. One you got the guy that you fucking hate, and I can't think of his name right the now. The wolf. Oh, Benny Agbayani. Benny Agbayani. Uh, I don't hate him. Just oh. fuck him. Oh, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> He's part wolf. Part yeah, wolf. he is. Cool. That's why I don't care for him. No, oh, <laughs> fucking cheater. You want to talk about missing the fucking cutoff? That guy threw it in stands. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and last but not least, uh, <coughs> well, we got one more thing after this, but uh, there's a girl named Taylor, uh, I believe. Uh, it's a girl, I, I thought. Well, that's great news, yeah. Scotty. <laughs> Congratulations, I, I Taylor. Got, Congratulations, I got no Taylor, on having a uh, uh, ubiquitous name. 
uh, wants us, wants to ask us a question, uh, and I think it's actually a pretty good one when it comes to baseball. Which MLB player's batting stance stands out to you the most? I've got two. Okay. I, I've got um, Gary Sheffield. Okay. Is probably one of the more weirder ones. Um, but Ken Griffey Jr., there's something about that dude's stance that always just – I could his was more his swing that was more distinct. No, just his stance. Like I could, I, I could mimic his his batting stance. And, and you could Gary mimic his Sh- fucking production though. You, yeah, you could not. That's definitely for sure. But uh, Gary Sheffield had the fucking bat that was flopping all the way forward, and then he'd use it as a timing mechanism and come through. Yeah. Same thing with Bonds, I guess too. But the one that you actually said, huh? Barry? No, Steve. Not Bobby. No, I don't know what Bobby did. Yeah. Um. But no, beat uh, the shit out of Whitney. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He tamed that fucking wolf. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, but he used to say uh, Cal Ripken Jr. too. Yeah, with the violin. The violin. Craig yeah. Council had a weird one. Yeah, that's another good one. Craig Council was weird as fuck. Mm-hmm. How about you, Jeremy? You got any that you can think of? Um, Kirk Gibson was always kind of hobbled. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, Carlton Fisk. I don't remember his. He... He had a really weird, like inside closed, oh. closed stance. Okay, I mean, he almost like put his shoulder over the fucking plate. Oh, okay. Uh, he got hit a lot. Well, yeah, that, that'll happen. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, uh, uh, get you on base, I guess. Yep. Last, they used to do that back then. They were fucking men. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but last but not least, um, don't annoy Mike Tyson on an airplane. Just so you know. Yep, he'll fucking hit you. Yeah. Do you, well, how do you feel about this, anyways? What did what did the guy do? He was just bugging he the was, shit. Out he of was him. being a fucking obnoxious. Jackass. Yeah, he was being obnoxious he, as hell. He <clears> started <throat> off asking Mike Tyson for a selfie, and he took a selfie, and you know, hi, how you doing? Um, and then just would not leave him alone. Would not leave him alone. Would not leave him alone. And until Mike Tyson finally just lost his shit. Hmm. Okay. And he did. Yeah. So well, that's probably one of the. Top guys you don't want to fuck with. I don't care how old he is. Yeah. He'll, he'll, he'll fucking kill you. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah. I kind of like it. I, I do too. I, I kind of, I don't necessarily think that you should fucking punch somebody, but somebody should have stepped in and restrained that Absolutely. motherfucker. This, this, this is restraining shit. Uh, That's not Mike Tyson. Well, not Tyson, the other guy. Oh. Yeah, yes. This is, this went on for a long fucking time. And I guarantee <clears throat> you, Mike Tyson asked at least twice nicely, mm-hmm. hey, could you. Please actually, leave me alone. Nicely. Yes. Nice, nicely. Excuse me, sir. Mm-hmm. Could, could you please uh, disperse? He, he's very soft. I've met him. He's very soft-spoken yes. and was a very nice guy. Yes. and But he does have a history of uh, some aggression issues um, mm-hmm. and, and kind of flying off the handle, which has yeah. not really made itself known, which, which tells you this guy went 25 years without any kind of a, a blow-up or an incident. Mm-hmm. This guy must have really been being a dick. Yeah. And while I I can't recommend or condone what he did, I'm not going to chastise him. And and mm-hmm. fuck all these morally virtuous pricks who are coming after him. You should never ever do that. No, the fucking here's what scares most people about that is that every person in the world is capable of that. Mm-hmm. Everybody has a fucking breaking point. Just because nobody has found a way to push the right buttons on you yet doesn't mean you can't get to that point right and you couple that in with you know the anxiety that a lot of people feel when they fly i know he's flown a lot but still people fly their whole fucking lives and they're still getting <coughs> nervous and shit you haven't flown your whole life no i i i, I, I don't for even, a long time. i i don't believe yeah, they would let you on a fucking aircraft fly. with that fucking beard yep um but uh certainly I mean, not get, with a box I, cutter too. i get randomly sure. selected yeah. i hope Deep, yeah, well, if you go cavity. through if you go through TSA and you say I have drugs in my ass, they're yes. probably going to search you, Scotty. <laughs> no, I, no, they're in there real good yeah. and deep. <laughs> no, I bring that clear that clear bag thing, so it's, it's, it's like, not that big. I mean, you, you think about it. Mike Tyson can't go anywhere without getting recognized. He's still yeah. one of the most famous boxers of, of all, all time. time. At one point, he was maybe one of the top ten most famous people in the world, mm-hmm. but he can't go anywhere without people constantly coming up to him and the fact that he hasn't done that before this this guy really had to be being an I, asshole i agree and he got what he fucking wanted mm-hmm. and he's gonna get a big fucking payout for yeah, it yeah too. which is that sucks it does that suck. really does suck fuck i remember mike growing up mike tyson had but two tigers yeah yeah you know what he didn't have 
Wolf. Damn right. <laughs> Can't contain him. Oh, he God. tried. Good stuff. He cut him. He, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they couldn't make the fucking roster. <laughs> right. Sent those fuckers back to Omaha. Uh, which is he, where you get your better wolves. That's what Omaha steaks are made out of. Yeah, this Remember, episode brought to you by Omaha steaks. Yeah, and and wolves. He sparred with wolves. Did oh, he? Yeah. yeah, he would spar with them. Oh, mm-hmm. well, yeah, you beat yeah. the shit out of there. Diamond does. Oh, absolutely. Right? They threw elbows a lot. Mm-hmm. Yay! Now they were horrible. The that glitch. one was a fucking. You know, I, I realize you said he was just tan. That was a fucking German Shepherd, right? And <laughs> you can't tell me otherwise. <laughs> Okay, well, now that is uh, sports for this week. Now we get to move on to real shit or horse shit. Uh, just some more fun ones that uh, I ended up finding. Um, but, but yeah, basically random things that you would think real shit or horse shit. Uh, first one, when taking a piss, I make sure I don't shake it more than two times. Oh, that's horse shit. I shake it while I'm pissing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Dude. Okay. It's a fucking Polaroid picture. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Shake it like a salt shaker. Mm-hmm. That's right. Got to get all that piss out. Yeah. Yeah, and the faster you shake it, the quicker it's coming out. That's true. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, yeah, it's horse shit. Uh, I definitely shake it more than, more than twice. Yeah, yeah the, the old saying of uh, if you're you not shake it more than twice, you're playing, playing with, with yourself. Yeah. I've never been shy about admitting, yes, I play with my dick. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the older that you get, the more dribbles are going to go in your fucking underwear, and I try to make sure it's as few as possible. Yep. And uh, so, yeah, not to mention just the capacity of my enormous cock. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, the one thing that sucks about doing, when I'm doing those games up there, like I love doing them, uh-huh. but when you got to go to the bathroom, I can't go. Like, I have to sit there. Uh-huh. And uh, you ever had Smoothie King? Uh-huh. I, not I, in the bathroom. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, this sure. Okay. It took me to the bathroom. Uh, they were giving me giving everybody smoothies at my other job, and I'm like, oh, I guess I'll take one. I didn't really want one, but he brought me one, and uh, it tasted. I had the strawberry, which uh, they actually flavor with Pepto. Oh, okay. And that's that's what it fucking tasted like. It had a <laughs> I had a chalk smoothie, and oh. uh, it did not agree with my stomach. So by about the sixth inning, mm. I had the rumblies. Oh, and uh, I am trying not to shit my pants <laughs> for three innings. That is so odd. Yeah. Oh, because God. Pepto is an anti-diarrheal. Oh, right. I know it was bad Pepto. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Yeah. rotten. Yeah, yeah. Somebody wolf. left that out in the sun in yeah, fucking July. Probably yeah. goddamn wolf. Yeah, yeah. So I fucking, uh, <laughs> probably. I am trying not to shit my. I, and I'll tell you what. After that game was over, yeah. Have you ever taken a shit so big you got to wipe your back? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like, that's no. how bad that was. Wow. Wow. That's that's bad. Oh, yeah. I had shit stains between my shoulder blades. I don't think you're fucking... sitting on the pot right. Because <laughs> yeah. gravity should take it. Oh, okay. Oh, oh well, yeah. You are, I guess. Go. Yeah. Um, never mind. Yeah. yeah. My apologies. Yeah. You're doing like a keg stand. Oh, only, God. It's only Absolutely. It's, it's, a, yeah. it's, it's mm-hmm. the toilet stand. Yeah. Okay. It's a lower decker. Right. <laughs> Get guys standing around you with cups. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like they goddamn, don't catch it all. Sometimes it goes down your back. Good yeah, call. I look like a chocolate fountain at a wedding. <laughs> that's what I look like. Just, that's fucking terrible. And that's when people get the real strawberries. Yeah. I got right. kids coming in there dipping strawberries, mm-hmm. and it's exactly what I was going to say. And one uh-huh. kid, that fucking retard kid with this be- bottle of Pepto, mm-hmm. dipping it in there. Isn't this what strawberries taste like? No, you've just been going to Smoothie King. You, <laughs> Smoothie King, you would think for royalty, they would know what fresh fruit tastes like. Yeah. Oh, God. It, strawberries, I hate strawberries, but I... In fact, I like the taste of Pepto better than strawberries. <laughs> but I can tell you for a fact, they don't taste anything alike. No, they don't. Is that just for uh, Yeah. All right, next one. Huh. Real shit or horse shit, I secretly sing or dance in the shower. Horse shit. There's no secret about it. <laughs> I'd belt that shit out. <laughs> yeah, if you've been a listener for a long time, you know that Jeremy mm-hmm. belts out share. Yep. So Just to fuck with my wife. Yep. And then I'll throw in like... Dirty Rodney Carrington songs every, in between <laughs> chairs. Oh, nice. Good deal. Dear penis. Yep. <laughs> I don't think I like you anymore. How do they spell that? D E A R or D E E R? It's a deer dick. <laughs> yeah. Is he talking about a deer penis? <laughs> I don't know. I've only heard the audiobook of it. So. <laughs> what, what if that's what he was talking about this entire time? Like he's done hunting for deer dick. Yeah. Good. <laughs> that, that would put a whole new spin on that song. <laughs> Which makes me wonder, 
At first, you did like it. <laughs> I don't yeah. like you anymore. Right? Yeah. Wow, that dear Dick done him wrong. <laughs> Got any of that venison peen? Yeah. Uh, this I like mountain oysters. You ever had venison? Man, the peen, yeah. perfect. It, it like le- mine a little. It medium literally rare. left him a dear John letter. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That dick don't taste gamey Mm-mm. enough for me. No. Right. No. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, for me... Dude, what is this? Holstein dick? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's wolf dick. You can get me some gamey dick. Yeah. Uh, get me some fucking antelope cock or nothing. <laughs> this dick tastes domesticated. I want wild dick. <laughs> fucking private landowners with their goddamn deer feeders making this tick dick taste delicious <laughs> i want something gamey and tough give me some gristle dick yeah. jesus. this deer penis is pumped full of hormones i don't mm. want that jesus christ <laughs> <laughs> anyways for me this is horse shit uh i i shower first thing in the morning and my wife is still asleep so i have to be quiet and so i don't no dance. you don't <laughs> yeah i do you should yeah. but you don't have to be yeah i'm i'm trying to be a nice guy so this is horseshit for me how about you derek uh neither i beatbox okay yeah that counts yeah, be- yeah beatboxing that's counts absolutely sure. oh yeah okay uh yeah we know what beatboxing is. okay uh next and one that, you mean you finger your ass right right <laughs> <laughs> fucking prick uh next one real shit or horse shit I have the natural power of thinking about absolutely nothing. Yeah, it's real shit. That's totally real shit. I'm doing that right now. Uh Uh-huh. I mean, but in all seriousness, guys, people say all the time that we have the ability to think about absolutely nothing. Yes, we do. And I can do that. Uh, This is actually horse shit for me. It has caused a, it's, it's the cause of my fucking insomnia. Okay. I can't think about nothing. I have to think about everything. Okay. That's uh, at all times. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why you got all those sweet band names. That's exactly right. It could be. I mean, right now I got, I'm trying to think just more about wolf baseball shit. (laughs) (laughs) And all I can think about is how bad I want to choke you out, Scotty. Yeah. It just keeps interfering. And now you're using the, now I got to go buy a fucking wolf to sick on you. Yeah. (laughs) Great. Fill your mouth with deer penis. Right. (laughs) Okay. That's how you trap a wolf. Mm-hmm. Right. Here's your hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. All right. Next one. Is Re- that what Manscaped pays us in? Yeah. Deer, Deer bucks. bucks. <laughs> yeah. They call it bucks. Yeah. 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 Uh, anyways, next one. I made a play on words. See what I did there, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Real shit or a horse shit. Mm. When I shut the lights off in the basement, I sprint upstairs as if someone is chasing after me. Uh, that involves exercise. That is horse shit. Oh. I take my time and look at TikTok videos uh, on my way up the steps. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's I don't sprint anywhere, Scotty. I mean, you know, you're in a hurry. Like No, chasing. I don't yeah. get in a hurry. Okay. This is real shit for me. Uh in the studio, if it's if I should shut the lights off or anything like that and I come down and forget something, forget to turn back on, I'd run up the stairs like I think somebody's chasing me from down here. Even so. ghosts don't like you. No one's chasing you. Oh. Uh, I, yeah, I hope so. Jeremy? Yeah, this is horse shit for me. Fuck. Poltergeist don't want to catch these hands. <laughs> yeah. They stay way the fuck away from mm-hmm. Lowe's. Mm-hmm. They do not go near Lowe's. Yeah. Uh, next one, real shit or horse shit, I can completely tune out my wife when she is trying to tell me something important. I can tune anybody out. That is fucking dead on truth. Yep. Even if it's something I really need to know, and I'm like, I need to pay attention, and then I just start thinking of bullshit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is real shit. It drives my it drives my wife crazy. She she's like thinking we're having this full conversation, and I've already tuned her out, so I'm concentrating on something else. Not a fucking clue what she said. Jeremy. Wolf baseball. <laughs> 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 what's happening now uh, yeah uh no my my wife makes the mistake of trying to talk to me when the tv is on and which means i can't hear either uh i will actually while my wife is talking to me turn the tv up um <laughs> she doesn't care for that and or i and i've done this at least twice a week she, are you listening to me no <laughs> Uh, cause honestly, um, I, 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 I have sat there, this sounds so bad to say, but I have spent more time 
just going, why do these noises keep coming out of your face? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> you, you are an endless geyser of garbage <laughs> coming out of your mouth. I don't care about your friend Linda from high school and how she's getting married again. <laughs> Great. I, uh, but she thinks that I must be really into it. Right. Get some friends. I should allow her to have friends. <laughs> you should. Uh, and last one. Other than Linda. Right. Last one. Real shit or horse shit. I have no problem with doing the deed during her time of the month. Oh, Never. Yeah, that's horse yeah. shit. Out. No, that's disgusting. I've never done that. I'll never do that. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. My dick looked like I stabbed her. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, even... Uh, never mind. I don't even want to go. Nope. Nope. Absolutely not. I am fortunate enough to not have to deal with this anymore. Very My good. wife has yeah. had a hysterectomy. The reason she had to have it was <clears throat> because her times of the month, they were lasting about six weeks a month. Oh, and, shit. Uh, yeah, it was it was ridiculous. Like they should call we, that a hers direct to me. They <laughs> <Yeah>. sure sure <laughs> should. They should. Yeah, Except we take it's, everything. It's, it was really more for me. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and I still got it in a jar. Good, <laughs> damn. very good. I I bait all my wolf traps with it. Is that what you use? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, but no, she really had like we were lucky if we got a week a month. Oh, wow. Where she was and I, it was really a, an issue and probably not what she wants me to share. <laughs> yeah. I should uh, remember, as I said earlier, this web is worldwide. That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, that is real shit and or real shit or horse shit for this week. Um, like, kind of same thing. If you got any uh, suggestions, you can go ahead and start sending us those too. Uh, but anyways, now we get to move on to a, uh, a, a favorite... Uh, part of every single episode. This is whenever you listeners get to send us messages. I feel uh, bad about this one. I hope we're not too late because, uh, well, when you read it, you'll figure out why. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, you can send us uh, some situations that you're in when, uh, and we can have uh, Jeremy give you bad advice. We know this is bad advice. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, if you have any uh, situation, you can send them to us at laughing on the sidelines on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, so yeah, send them to us. Uh, which one are we doing, Jeremy? Five? Uh, number five, yeah. Okay. All right. This number week's five on the top <laughs> 10 of yeah. 10. All right. Uh, so this week's bad advice comes from at a walk 1729. And they write, Jeremy. Is that spelled W-A-L-K or W-O-K? Uh, A-W-A-L-K. Huh. A walk. Wrong kind. A, right. wall, a, a wall <laughs> K. No, I'm just okay. Anyways, he, he writes, Jeremy, yeah. I'm taking my ex to court so I can see my daughter more. We have 50-50 custody, and she doesn't want to give me any more time. At the same time, my fiance and I are getting married at the courthouse this April. The problem is... <laughs> The judge marrying us is the same judge that is taking care of my case against my ex to see my daughter more. How would you handle this situation and what should I do? Yeah, we only have like less than a week in April. So I, I hope you scheduled it for the end of April so you can take this advice and shove it up your ass. But uh, <laughs> I was very confused by this question because I really don't see the problem. It's not like you have a, uh, a larceny trial going on, anything. This is actually going to work in your favor. Uh, the judge is going to see that you're creating a, a more solid, stable foundation for your kid, and you're actually going to look like you would make a better parent who deserves more time. But uh, don't let this time go to waste, because really what this is, is you get time to talk to the judge while you're not under oath. <laughs> and uh, you can really let her, you know, without any lawyers or anything around nobody objecting you can really let her know the kind of person that you are and you're the type of person who should have more time with their child first off you want to start by letting the judge know that you are a confident guy and the best way to do that i think to really display good confidence is to go through most of your uh wedding procedure here uh with your cock out uh <laughs> There is nothing in the world that displays more confidence than just a guy who walks around with his donger hanging out his zipper. Uh, now, don't make the mistake of showing up with it out. That'll be bad because then the judge might think that you did it on accident. Wait till the ceremony starts. <laughs> unzip. Pull it out. Uh, 
by the way, if you're keeping her wedding ring there, um, <laughs> your future wife needs to find a different husband because you got a <laughs> tiny dick or you got a future wife with really fat fucking fingers. Um, either way, that marriage ain't going to work. Uh, second, um, uh, let's see. Uh, one thing that they do frown on these days is you know corporal punishment they don't like people spanking kids it's not the same world it used to be so at this you're gonna have to find a reason during the ceremony to get angry with your bride and do one of the the mother Mm -hmm. but don't actually hit her you know act like you're going to show the judge you have some restraint you're not a violent person (laughs) right even though I'm sure she's fucking up somehow. I mean, she's marrying you, if nothing else. Um, uh, third, I would, uh, you get to say your own vows. Most of these, I've been to a couple of courthouse weddings. Uh, they're pretty cut and dry, cookie cutter type things, but you do get to give your own vows. And you can basically say whatever you want. And here's one of those times when you're not under oath where you, you can just badmouth your ex. Uh, <laughs> all of your vows to your ex-wife are just ways that your baby's mom sucks. And like I say, you're not under oath, so you can make up anything. Mm-hmm. Talk about how she brings dudes home to watch her shit in a bucket. You know, <laughs> just all kinds of fucked up shit. And then, um, you know, when she finally pronounces you husband and wife, and tells you to kiss the bride after you kiss her declare to everyone that you will be consummating the marriage missionary position so that way she knows you're not some fucking weirdo who's into a bunch of freaky shit (laughs) all this is going to help you get more custody i think um which i guess if that's what you want i don't know who would want a kid more than half the fucking time but uh good luck to you that's my advice Yeah, I, why, why would you want that? I, I, I mean, fuck your kids. Did you know some people like their kids? Really? That's fucked up. It what? is fucked up. Do they not know kids are fucking assholes? I don't even, know. Even well-behaved children get tired and cranky, and they turn into pricks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that never happens, though, at uh, the car dealership where you work at. Never. You never get rambunctious children there oh. with parents who don't do a good job. Yeah, not at paying all. Attention. All right. Yeah, not at all. Anyways, that is Bad Advice with Jeremy. Again, if you do have any uh, particular situations that you would like to message us, again, do that at Laughing on the Sidelines, at Facebook or Instagram. We would appreciate that. Okay, now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. We got a few of them this week. Um, Yeah, so we're going to start off real (coughs) simple, easy. Uh, First one, overrated or underrated foreplay. This is that thing where I yell out four and throw a golf ball. Hundred percent. Right? Yeah, that's okay. exactly right. <laughs> Underrated. Love yeah. doing it. Yeah, love doing that shit. I went through a dozen balls one night. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Yeah, doing that foreplay. All right. I, I mean, I didn't go to Walmart and get like official PGA balls or anything. Those are too expensive. But yeah. but yeah, they were they were range balls. Yeah, this is. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go. This is underrated. I'm I'm gonna I'm, I'm probably gonna be different on this one. It's okay. I say four players totally underrated. Uh, that gets you kind of in the mood. So I, I'm gonna go with that. Underrated, Derek. Overrated. I'm always in the mood. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't take anything. Yeah, I I get it, but I disagree. Okay. Except for like five times a month. Right. Uh, next one. Uh, over. Really? That seems excessive. Yeah, it does. <laughs> that's, that's actually a pretty good number over there, Derek. Yeah. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Uh, this is oh, I'm sorry. This is a this is a fan suggestion. This is from at Unfiltered Perspective. Uh, he wants to know overrated or underrated? Do it yourself projects. Overrated. Jesus fucking Christ! What do you think I, we are? I pay a guy to mow my lawn. You think I'm going to build my own fucking table? Exactly. It's not going to happen. It's so fucking overrated. Who in their right goddamn <clears throat> mind is going to do shit like that? Jeremy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <sighs> fucking DIY projects are the fucking worst because once you've done one, you're like hooked on it. Uh-huh. Especially if you do way better than what you thought it was going to come out. Now you're like, fuck, I can do anything. No, oh, yeah. Especially the way that I did it. I learned trial and error, basically, which, by the way, cheaper to hire a guy. Yeah. Um, I have spent so much money in, I have enough tools to be a professional contractor. I have no <laughs> doubt about that. Yeah. Um, but, uh, and most of them get used 
once every five years. Here's that's the thing with DIY projects for me is that I spaced them out just far enough to forget the last time when I went, I'm never fucking doing this again. <laughs> yeah. And there's kind of a rule too in our house where uh she's not allowed to be in the same county <laughs> when I'm working on on anything. Fair. Fair enough. Because she has the dumbest fucking question <laughs> if i can't pay attention to her and the tv i certainly can't fucking wire a light fixture and listen to whatever she's saying fair enough surprisingly enough you got all those you got a whole bunch of tools right yeah you got anything to like keep your basement from flooding yeah 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 it doesn't work <laughs> okay. I, I keep forgetting to plug it in okay <clears throat> anyways uh next one I hired two midgets with buckets down there just to bail shit out. They keep throwing it back in the sump pump, and that's the part that's fucking flooded. You should really think about hiring wolves. Just saying. No. Next one. They're not good boys. Okay. Overrated or underrated? Cinco de Mayo. Overrated. Why? You mean the holiday where a bunch of white people put on sombreros and mm-hmm. eat hot or eat fucking tacos and drink Coronas and margaritas because that's what they think all Mexican people do? Yeah. Yeah, overrated. I think it's fucking underrated as hell. Oh, no. It's, it's better than Taco Tuesday. It comes with all of the culture as well. No. You got to have tacos, margaritas, tequila, alcohol. Fuck yeah. All the Mexicans I know drink Bud Light and eat hot wings. That's totally <laughs> true. <laughs> they don't fucking eat that shit all the time. Cultural appropriation. Fuck yeah. yes. Jeremy? In fact, I celebrate every Cinco de Mayo by... Uh, taking a shitty car and towing it behind another shitty car <laughs> down to Mexico <laughs> to sell for 400 bucks. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then I, I mow my own lawn. So uh, that's that's typically what I do on Cinco de Mayo. No, uh, you shouldn't need an excuse to eat tacos and drink beer and wear a big fucking hat. That's um, it's, it's fucking stupid. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, they... they uh, I feel like they really, most people who do this, the white people who really celebrate this, they really leave out a big part of Mexican culture, which is uh, firing your pistols up in the air. Uh, That's what I would do. Hunt, yep, you definitely need to do that. Uh, So, yeah. Next one. Uh, Overrated or underrated? Having a threesome. Overrated. 100%. That means I can disappoint two chicks now? No, thank you. Um, I, I didn't even specify if it's like, you know, two dudes and a chick. We're all going to go, yes, two chicks and me, right? That's, that's No, what, you would be two dudes. No, me and Jeremy would be chicks. <laughs> and they've both spoken, and they're <laughs> fucking bored. <laughs> <laughs> two dudes? If you, I, why didn't you say three? Me and two other dudes. Because that's a foursome. Um, yeah. Well, no, that's three. No, that's three. <laughs> yeah. But why didn't you say three dudes? I don't think you could, I don't think you could pull two dudes. We're talking about the other... No, you don't have that kind of game. Yeah, yeah I know. No, but seriously, I... You're going to have to shave that beard down to just the mustache. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm... No, I, I, this is overrated. I don't think I could I could take two chicks at the same time. I don't think I could do it. Plus, my wife would be fucking pissed. Jeremy? What? How about you? I don't know if my parents are listening to this. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Is that how you were conceived? I, is that what, was that what happened? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how, how I was conceived. Uh, I don't know geez, even who my mom about, is. Let me I tell you the story about when I met your dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, mom. I don't know which one. Right. <laughs> Uh, she won't take a paternity test. <laughs> um, but it's, it, it is fun, but there's literally only so much you can do. Yeah. And it's nerve wracking. And uh, what if they enjoy each other's company more than yours? I oh, was that's just hands, getting ready to say that. Hands down going to happen. Like what, what ends up happening? Like you think it's going to be a great time, but it all turns out like, you know, friends, Ross's ex-wife, that they mm. end, ends up being a lesbian. Fucking Man, friends. Fuck, fuck yeah. yeah. Fucking loser. That's a nightmare, bro. That's a fucking nightmare. You lose your wife, she becomes a lesbian. And those straps sucks. chafe. Yeah. And yeah. That's it's, true. That's true. Yep. All right. Last one. Overrated or underrated, answering your front door naked to scare away Mormons. Okay, overrated. However, underrated, answering your front door naked to scare away trick-or-treaters. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, <laughs> guess who doesn't get egged <laughs> and gets to keep all the candy? Yeah. They don't want to come near that house. <laughs> okay. Do you think it's the fact you're naked or the fact that you're like, boo? These <laughs> <laughs> kids are stupid. <laughs> Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, come on, man. He really does too. He just jumps out. Poof. <laughs> he really gets into it. He loves Halloween <laughs> with his with his tiny. And everything pain. is. I, I'm standing still, but everything else is still shaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm a jello mold. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Did I scare you? Yeah. Uh, oh man, this is underrated. Absolutely, I would love to do this shit. I like making Mormons feel uncomfortable, so I'm gonna go with this is underrated. Jeremy, uh, I don't know about Mormons, but uh, the uh, the Jehovah's Witness, mm-hmm. sure. Um, this actually, okay, I didn't. It, it's kind of a, a story. It, nobody was naked. Um, way back when in my single days, uh, me, I, me and a friend had gone out to the fucking bar and we got blitzed. And so I wound up not driving home and I slept on his couch. And the next day I'm going out to my car to go back home and two fucking Jehovah's witness dudes in suits come walking up asking, you know, if I have some time, they'd like to tell me the good word. And I yeah, <laughs> and invited him into the house, and I like held the door open for him and <laughs> gone in, and then just left. <laughs> and so my buddy is standing there with two dudes in his fucking living room, <laughs> and I just hear as I'm walking to my car, get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> That's fucking great. Yeah. <laughs> that's fucking awesome uh, oh, such fuck. so quick on your behalf that's awesome. well and the, the fact that they that's back when i had that saturn with the fucking longhorns on it <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking great they, they must have picked me out like oh this guy needs saved <laughs> <laughs> or or this guy can be talked into anything <laughs> yeah that's right around when you started managing bands wasn't it it wasn't oh fuck. no a little too early well, okay. I had first, that was about the same time that I got in with uh, petroleum marmalade. <laughs> okay. All right. And, but I dumped them before they hit it big. Okay. That's fair. All right. Well, that is overrated or underrated for this week. Again, guys, you have any suggestions for overrated or underrated or our next segment questions? This show. Test? Yeah, this show. Go to at oh, laughing on the rated. Absolutely. <laughs> Fuck you. Go to at laughing on the sidelines either on Facebook or Instagram. Send us your suggestions if they're any good. We'll put them on the show and give you a shout out. All right. First question of this week is going to be things that both really poor and really rich people say. Okay. Hitler was a fucking asshole. That's mine. All right. Oh, yeah, that's not how we feel on everything you ever say. We think that it was a dud. Oh, what button did you hit? (laughs) I just didn't have the volume up. There it is. (laughs) (laughs) We should made you laugh. I think we should replace that with oh, yeah, we should. (laughs) Yeah, uh, how about you, Derek? Oh, what's the question? Uh, the question is things that both really poor and really rich people say. Uh, we need to get some lights in here so we can see to play polo at night. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. I think both poor and rich can agree there. A- absolutely. That you have to have lights to play night polo. I agree. I fucking agree. Uh, how about you, Jeremy? I, do you think they were playing with glow sticks? Yeah. Before? Mm-hmm. No, no, because those are actually made out of dead horses. Oh. oh. They melt wow. them down, turn them into glow sticks. Yeah. I, I think that, they that's just the, that's the raver horses they melt down. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. You ever see a horse at a rave? <laughs> they yeah. Fucking yeah. Rave like crazy. Fuck yeah, they do. <laughs> horses have a tremendous li- nightlife. Yeah. You know, they have the the largest uh, eye of any land animal. Yeah, in absolutely. North yeah, America. Yeah. So yeah, they uh, they can see at night, and uh, black lights are not. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you should see them fucking things get dilated when they're all fucking tripping balls. Oh, oh, God. have you ever shined a black light on a horse? Just come all over them. <laughs> they're, fucking, they're fucking partiers. <laughs> okay, uh, that about, mare's a slut. <laughs> how about you, Jeremy? What? What's the question now? Things that both really poor and really rich people say. 
I think they both try to convince you that their furniture is distressed. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> it's just the poor people's is just beat to shit. <laughs> and the rich people paid somebody to make it look like it's beat to shit. <laughs> Great. Uh, all right. Next one. What has your job given you instead of a raise? Oh, an uncanny ability to hate people. That is what it, it has given me. Fuck. That was... Fuck people. <laughs> <laughs> All people. Uh, I legit... All people. Uh-huh. Short people. Skinny people. Fat people. All people. Fuck them. I, you, any more descriptions you want to go in there? Nope. You don't want to go Bearded through... Bearded people. How about colors? Yeah. Do you want to go through colors? Like, you know, all, Whoa, of, all of the Oh, easy, fella. <laughs> Just all of them. It doesn't matter. Uh, I legit- White people in blackface. <laughs> yeah. Hate them. Hate them. That's, that's it. Those are the ones. Um, but no, uh, I legitimately have the exact same thing written down. I said the realization that I fucking hate people. That's it. And alcoholism. Jeremy? You, if you hate alcoholism, you're really good at it. No, no, no. Uh, no, they gave me that. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, there you go. Well, you're doing a real good job. I know, right? See? Cheers. Yeah. Jeremy? Um, I won't say the company that I work for now. They don't do this, but the previous aircraft company I worked for, I used to work for Cessna. I, I worked there for six years. And um, we're talking about a company worth, at, at the time, was $4 billion. Uh, so every year for Christmas, uh, we got a turkey. Yeah. That was our <laughs> Christmas bonus. However, if you didn't want it and you wanted to donate it, to people in need, they would match it. <laughs> oh, Merry fucking Christmas, right? <laughs> that, that literally was our Christmas bonus. And they made sure to let us know that that was not a part of the union contract. They were taking doing that out of the kindness of their hearts. Really? Uh-huh. Spectacular. Every year before we left for Christmas, the parking lot was littered with turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Just as a fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you and your little airplanes. Uh, this is a fun fact, too. And you I should know. just hide them in the plane. Like I, Easter. Yeah. yeah. That would have been with, great. With a bomb in them. The, <laughs> yeah. If you, you got turkey bombed. Go with me on, gobble, gobble. on this, Derek. And, I, and I'm sure a lot of other companies and shit like do the same thing. But for car dealerships, it's, uh-huh. it's the ongoing joke. Like whenever you have an awesome month or whenever you're doing an oh, excellent job, thing. guess what they end up giving you? Pizza, Pizza party. Pizza party. Fucking Sweet. stupid. It's like, thanks. Made you millions of dollars, you fucking prick. Can I, can I tell you another fun story about I Cessna? Do, I love where I work, And it's way. DiGiorno. Yeah. Can I tell you another fun story Fuck about yeah, Cessna? dude. Let's go. Um, Cessna has a booth in there where they have to test the structural integrity of the aircraft. Mm-hmm. Um, most likely uh, for this. bird strikes. Mm. Uh, when you're taking off in an aircraft at pretty good speed and you're at low altitude, uh, hitting something like a goose is pretty fucking uh, yeah. possibly hazardous. <clears throat> so they would test the aircraft. They would not every one of them, but every so often they uh, they simulated that by they had a fucking cannon that would shoot a turkey mm-hmm. at it, and uh, it took them approximately one to figure out you've got to thaw the turkey (laughs) they apparently shot through the fuselage of a fucking business jet of a several million dollar business jet that's fucking awesome yep way to go guys i hope they taped it these are aircraft engineers you fuck i have to believe that that it was the most applied for transfer (laughs) by the way everybody wanted that fucking job fuck yeah they did all right uh, next question. Uh-huh. Oh, this is uh, this is current events. Um, next question is: Would you rather be Elon Musk or Ryan Reynolds? Hmm. This ain't even fucking close. Well, on one hand, you're a billionaire with Aspergers, mm-hmm. and you now own Twitter. You do. Mm-hmm. And on the other hand, you're a millionaire that every chick wants to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> right. I got to go with Ryan Reynolds on this one. And it's close. Don't get me wrong. I mean, the Asperger's almost sold it for me. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to have to go with Ryan Reynolds just because I don't use Twitter. Okay. So I'm a MySpace guy. Okay. That's fine. Through and through. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Well, it's uh, fucking easy for me. You and Tom, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're tight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Still tight. It's just you two on that fucking thing. Yeah, we're our own wolf pack. That's right. By the way, (laughs) little known fact, Tom. 
Turkey. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's who they shot through the fuselage. Uh-huh. That's why I don't see MySpace around anymore. Exactly right. Yeah. That's how the market fucking crashed on MySpace. Yeah, he fucking went right through a fuselage. Right. Yeah. That's, that's right. Didn't kill him, but it, it really injured his fucking typing hand. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm taking Elon Musk. Are you fucking kidding me? This dude just bought Twitter with the fucking change that was rolling around in his fucking sofa. $48 billion. Dollars. Sofa he actually change. had to secure $25 billion of it from, <laughs> he only had $23 million of his own, or billion of his own money uh-huh. laying around. That's all that's in his couch cushions. Come right. on, Scotty. Uh, whatever. Um, $48 billion is kind of an unrealistic <laughs> number to be in your fucking couch. His net worth is almost $200 billion. Yeah. Right, I don't care how ugly of a guy that you are. If you got that kind of money, everybody wants to yes. fuck you. So yeah, I'm taking Elon Musk. That, you get those ones that are holier than thou. I don't give a shit. Elon Musk. E- Elon Musk go. is holier than thou. Elon I'm Musk. A huge is, Elon Musk fan. I, uh, I am too. Elon Musk is like the legitimate real time Iron Man. I, I love the fact that he just finds yeah. things that people go. Oh, that's not possible. And, and he he's just like, he fucking does it. He's like, and and every time when he starts out trying, it's everybody thinks he's just fucking insane. And nobody has figured out he thinks about shit on a whole different level than most people are capable of. This new one that he's building, the Starship, mm-hmm. that's rocket. What that fucking thing is going to do is it's going to take off, right? It's it's one big fucking spacecraft sitting on a on a launch vehicle. It's going to go up into space. The launch vehicle is going to come back down on the same fucking launch pad. They're going to put another thing that looks just like the first one, full of fuel, launch that fucker back up and join up with the one in space. Holy fuck. To fucking fuel it so it gets to fucking Mars. And he's he's going to fucking <laughs> do it. Uh, you can't it, read what it says. It, it says, nerd. Yeah, I, I don't know if you knew this or not, but... Uh, Nerd is the new fucking sexy these days. <laughs> Damn right it is. Um, but here's here's what you can do when you have Elon Musk's money. You can buy Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> and that's the first purchase I would make. <laughs> yep. Just for his who's, pussy getting abilities. Who's the other one in the threesome? You, Ryan Reynolds, and who? Wolfman Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, he's on the prowl. Yeah, yeah he is. <clears throat> All right. Cause, cause I bet you, he sucked at baseball, too. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but no, it's uh, this is way too easy for me. He's more of a softball guy. Right. Uh, next. Oh, yeah. yeah. You got the wolf, man. Mm-hmm. It's one of three impressions I do. <laughs> right. With, using that same voice. Yeah. You, you've got the 90s Kool-Aid man. Yep. Oh, yeah. And then you got the wolf, man. Yep. And then you go a little bit deeper with it and you get uh, Lou Brown from Major League. Yeah. We're all out of towels and I'm too old to go diving into lockers. Yeah. You also, got, you, 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 hype it up a, you hype it up a little bit. You got Macho Man Randy Savage, too. Nah. nah. Yeah. You do a pretty good George Bush. I sure do. <laughs> <laughs> no, but his fucking Lou Brock is on point. Yeah. Now that's George Bush Sr., by the way. Oh, okay. That's yeah, not, sorry. That's not dub. Your Lou Brock's good. It's your Yeah. This is it. I, I actually that's my normal speaking voice is my Lou Brock impression. <laughs> tweet tweet on the cardinal. Uh, no, that was uh, Bob Gibson. That Bob, Bob Gibson. Gibson. Damn. Yeah. Oh, I said oh, fuck. <laughs> I didn't know where you were going with this. <laughs> I just walk up to people on a regular basis. Lou Brock? <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. That's me. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> God damn. Oh, I fucking scotted that joke. Yeah, God okay. damn. Uh, o- right. Oddly enough, though, the way they know that I'm Lou Brock, <laughs> my batting stance. <laughs> Very recognizable. Right. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. We got to get moving. Uh, next one. This is actually coming in from a fan. This is from Trevor Trussell. Uh, he wants to know. You can't trust fucking Trevor. No, you can't. Should we skip it? Well, I I'll tell you this: if we do that live show, he's not invited. Okay, fair. We're kidding. Uh, but no, his question We're is. Not doing a live show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we are. Uh, his question is: if you were born with two penises, would you want them side by side or over under? Well, I'd prefer. F- one front, one back. <laughs> oh, yeah. That way I don't have to do the Bosnian seesaw with the straps on anymore. See, the Bosnian seesaw, for those of you that didn't look it up, oh, is that my. you have a woman in front of you and a woman behind you, mm-hmm. and you have to put a strap on behind you so you can thrust <sighs> in and out of each one at the same time. But if you had right. one on the back, 
wouldn't have to worry about that so much. Mm -hmm. Not an option here. This configuration, however, is a little different. Ah, gosh. I'm going to have to go... Ooh, I'm going to have to go over under. Yeah. I think over under. That way, if I want to DP, I can still DP. (laughs) That's Mm -hmm. exactly right. So I'm going to have to... But, God, if... Let me ask you this. Yeah. If, I, if my two dicks touch, is it gay? No. Is it? No. Ah, uh, it know. is, but gay's cool. Yeah. Gay's you cool. get your own parade That's and shit? True. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. is true. Dude, I you would fuck. You, you would be the what, the grand marshal of every fucking pride parade yep. in the world. If you had two dicks. Oh, yeah, dick for sure. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, I'm, I'm with Derek on this. It would definitely be over under. First off, if, if it's a side to side, those, those aren't very accurate. Those are aren't as accurate as an uh, as an over under. So that's the first thing. You could piss all over your dick, though. Tell that to Wells Fargo, uh, motherfucker. What? They <laughs> used to carry those on their stagecoaches. Well, I know, and then they came out with better ones, which are over unders. Not Wells Fargo didn't. No, but they're still in business. That's true. Come on, but I mean, in all sense, yeah, DP would be fucking cool. So, uh, yeah, I'm doing that, Jeremy. I'm going side by side. Because <laughs> you know the only thing better than fucking than double penetration? What's that? Double Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best kind of fucking three way. You're just fucking twirling your dicks around while they're fucking <laughs> jumping over it, doing like those fucking schoolyard rhymes. <laughs> Oh, shit. My mama and your mama are talking a little shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. fucking old school playground. All right. All right. Last question. Uh, let's see. Here it is. Which Dr. Seuss book would be terrible if it were turned into a porno parody movie? Cat in the Hat. Oh, yeah? You got two kids and a feline. Uh-huh. That's not a good idea. No. No, you got OSHA involved there. <laughs> yeah. You do, you do not want that. Yep. And I don't think you're allowed to make those kind of movies with... You got to be 18. It, you do. Well, yeah. you got to be 23 and tell people you're 18. Right. That's what you got to do. Yeah, because there's a, a rule on, on porn sets that that cat cannot be declawed. Right. Uh, totally. And their tongues are so rough. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, um, I went with... Uh, Spread legs and slam. Yeah. I oh, will. so you made up a title. I sure did. Huh. I will fuck you in a bar. I will fuck you in a car. I will fuck you in the rain. I will fuck you on the train. I will fuck you on a boat. I will fuck you in the throat. That would be it. Okay. Spread legs and slam. With a very smooth scrote. Thanks to manscaped.com. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, the foot book. Um, it's either a fetish or a measurement. Yeah. Uh, just depending on how you're looking at it. <laughs> feet are fucking gross. Yeah. And so are ginormously long penises. Uh huh. We found something out whenever we were. Oh, we Jesus this. Christ! This sparked some fucking conversation. <laughs> <It did. laughs> All right. Let's get into it. It's got to be better than last week. Absolutely. No, but also in all seriousness, we were looking uh, up ideas for this while we were talking before the show. And I had no idea Dr. Seuss, he wrote a really interesting yes, book. Yes, he did. One that could have definitely been a porn. And we can't seem to find the content. So as far as we know, it might have been. His very <laughs> first ever book, it was written in the 30s. The Pocket Book of Boners. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love good old Dr. Seuss. Book of dicks. Do you think they were deer penises? Yeah, do you think they were deer dicks? I'm sure that there's probably got a chapter. Yeah, there yeah. has to be. A whole chapter dedicated about to how, about how he doesn't like them anymore. Yeah. Right. It's like the green eggs of ham of deer penises. <laughs> it, it really influenced Rodney Carrington. Um, <laughs> deer dicks. And, and that was actually, uh, oh, God damn it, who's the fucking band? Spin Doctors. Pocket Full of Kryptonite was actually inspired <laughs> by a pocket book of boners. There you go. <laughs> Oh, boy. All right. What? Well, that is uh, questions and preguntas for this week's episode. Again, you got any suggestions? Send them God, to us at over. laughing on the sidelines at Instagram or uh, Facebook. But yeah, um, now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is our laughing on the sidelines draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. I uh, I lost last week. Yep. Fucking loser. I fucking, just like your wife came from behind. Mm-hmm. 
Thanks. Caught Jeremy. up with you. Went deep inside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but no, now Derek, I'm stuck. Yeah, <laughs> you are in the middle. Derek ended up winning last week. Uh, I took dead last. Jeremy took second. So that means that uh, Derek gets the championship picks. Uh, Jeremy gets the sandwich picks, and mm-hmm. I get the first. Pick. I'm the baloney. That's right. Uh, but this week's draft is going to be our favorite one hit wonders. There's quite a few of these out there, and I'm sure that we'll pick some that you've never heard of, but uh, we're better than you. So uh, I get first pick, and I- I'm going to do this because I think that this is probably what I was put on the earth to do, and that is it's uh, make fun of myself. So I'm going to say Scotty doesn't know. Is that a hit? It was a hit. It was a it was a one hit wonder. I think it was what was it, what was their name? Lustra or some shit like that. Okay. But I think that's an accurate in pick. a movie. I mean. <laughs> yeah, tons of people saw that fucking movie. But I would well, say uh, half yeah. tons anyway. Sure. <laughs> yeah, Lustra. Certainly not metric tons. No, no. Uh, but that means Jeremy, you get second pick, buddy. Go ahead. <clears throat> Okay, now I may not be understanding exactly. Uh, here comes the sun by the Beatles. Um, what? <laughs> <laughs> do I not? No. Am I, am I missing how, how no. this game goes? Oh. Yeah, that's definitely not one. Okay. The well, Beatles? Huh? You can't pick the Beatles? Nah. Why? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> the Beatles were like the best one-hit wonder group of all time. They had so many one-hit, one-hit wonders. Yeah, for I sure. I mean, fucking tons of them. They did. Um. To me, there's really only one one hit wonder that stands out above the rest. Rump Shaker by Rex and Effects. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That is a good one. All right. It's like they read my soul. <laughs> that is all I want to do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Derek. I got two. I'm going to go with Ice Ice Baby. Yeah, Ooh. that's a good one. Fuck. Even though he did have a second hit, we won't count that. That's one. okay. Yeah, stop that train. N- stop that train. What? Are you freaking kidding? The only one I know by him is Ice Ice Baby. Ice Ice I had the album as a kid. Yeah, but the uh, Ninja Turtles song that wasn't a hit. Scotty. Yes, it was. Even the fucking Ninja Turtles hated that. One. <laughs> Fine. Splinter said it was a piece of shit. Right. This is drivel. Mm-hmm. All right. So I got another one. Fair right. Enough. Yeah, you get another one. Oh, see, I would pick this one, but I fucking can't. Why? You'll understand when somebody else picks it. Uh, so I'm going to go with... Let's go Rapper's Delight. Okay. No, they never made a penny off that. <laughs> they didn't? No, because they sampled... Uh, God damn it. What fucking song was it? Was it something by the Supremes? or? Hmm. Mm. But anyway, that was back before you had to there were any laws about that and they got sued and basically all the fucking money that they made went Jesus, to song that was. sucks yeah okay Jeremy go for it Informer by Snow that was that was on my list ooh <clears throat> I never could tell what that guy Mm-mm. was saying sure couldn't white guy from Canada mm, okay Rapping reggae rap well I've got a couple here I'm going to go with Pop, Lock, and Drop It by Huey. And then I'm going to go stay. Very inspirational in my it, life. It I, was, As I've man. always said, that that is uh, basically how I fucking do all my fire drills. Right. Uh, and then I'm going to go with Fountains of Wayne, Stacy's Mom. Okay. Fuck okay. yeah. I, we she, still sing that one. Uh, okay, but it's a fucking lie. She does not have it going on. No, she wasn't even that attractive. Mm-mm. So I, I'm, but I know other moms that are hot, so I'm gonna go with it. Uh, Jeremy, next pick. Me already? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go with. God damn it! I love that song, but I'm. <laughs> <laughs> nobody's gonna know what the fuck it is. Yeah. So I'm gonna go. Uh, unbelievable by EMF. Yeah, that's a good one. Fuck. They Damn they it. sampled Andrew Dice Clay. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. 
Uh, that was a good one. Was it? Yeah, I think I think that's a good. Yeah, pick. I love that song. Oh uh, yeah, uh, Derry, you get two. I'm gonna go bust a move. Oh fuck, I had that one on mine. And just one of my personal favorites, uh, Kung Fu Fighting. Okay, all right, I'll let you have that one. I don't really like that song. I think it's annoying. All right, Jeremy. I, I have to do it, otherwise Matt will never forgive me. Tub thumping. Chumbawamba. <laughs> Fuck. Chumbawamba. Okay. I'm going to go. Let's see. I've got a few that I want to pick. <sighs> Son of a bitch. I guess, I guess I'll, I'll take it. <clears throat> Damn it. Yeah, who let the dogs out? I'll go with that one. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not my favorite. <laughs> it's your fifth favorite, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I'm going to end on uh, on one that I really do like. I think it's catchy as shit. And, uh, There's no way you can... If you hear it past the, the fucking... Refrain the fucking who let the dogs out. Uh -huh. If you hear the rest of that song, mm -hmm. it is a massive pile of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it is a left center fucking pile of shit. It That's, really is. It's like fucking left center field at a Wolves game. Uh, yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, but With I'm going to no plastic bags. Correct. Uh, but I'm going to end on one that I actually really do like. Uh, it's by Weedus. It's Teenage Dirtbag. I'm just a teenage dirtbag, baby. That one. Okay. <laughs> That's it. You're just dead staring at me. Yeah. Okay. Well, what what year? What Give year? Me a year. That that was? Yeah. Uh, early 2000s. Cuz either you're not singing it right or <laughs> it doesn't exist. I have no voice, Jeremy. It's 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 going away. But yeah, I'm going to go with those two. Jesus Christ. You know who doesn't have to put up with this, Derek? Who? The guys over at Trill Sports. <laughs> you are absolutely <laughs> correct. Do you think they're still around? Oh, they're absolutely. I, I wouldn't mind resurrecting them. <laughs> <laughs> Jake the Snake, those motherfuckers. <laughs> God. All right. Uh, Jeremy, last pick. Oh, God damn it. I feel like I've been doing too much in the hip hop genre. Uh, I'll, I'll trade it's you who let the dogs out. All of mine out. is in the hip hop genre. All of mine are going to be. There's so many, god damn it. I know. They come um, out, they do one, and then that's it. Yeah. I um, eat one hit wonders. Seriously, what are they doing over at Trail? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, was, Jeremy. We should give them a call. See what we they're should up to. give them a call. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Um I'll trade yeah, you. just because this was was big when when I was in high school, coming out of high school, really. Uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's. Oh, that's, something. That's a good one. It's a great one. Yeah, I like that one. All the right. The '90s had a fuck ton. I actually my list. I I've wanted, got one still. I wanted to do all 2000s, so that's just me. But yeah, Derek, you get last pick, dude. <sighs> well, I was between a few. I was between the. Uh, Jump Around by House of Pain. Mm -hmm. uh, Whoop, There It Is by Tag Team. Tag Team, that was the other one I was going to go with. Uh, Can you really go with House of Pain? Because, I mean, uh, what's his nuts? Whitey uh, Ford. No, that's the name of the album. Uh, what the fuck is his name? Greg. Everlast. Oh, yeah. He was the singer. I think it was basically Yeah, that's just a different him. band. I think, isn't that just his name? Or what he goes by? Yeah. Uh, go ahead. So I was between a couple of those. Never Scared by Bone Crusher. Yeah, it's a good one, too. But uh, it's catchy. Uh, teach Me How to Dougie. Teach Me How to Dougie. Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah, it's catchy. I, I will I will trade Who Let the Dogs Out for, for a whoop. There it is. <laughs> I should have picked that. I just didn't think of it. Yeah. We need to sick the wolves on Who Let the Dogs Out. <laughs> yeah. That's what I hope. I hope somebody let their fucking dogs out and they got caught up by a fucking pack of wolves. <laughs> Uh, my who my who let the dogs out mm. pick it just disqualified me if you vote for me on that shit 
Yes, you're wrong. I that, was the other one that was I couldn't pick was uh, Baby Got Back. I could not pick. That. How how yeah. is Sir Mix a Lot? They calling him a one hit wonder. That's what one they of had the most on there. prolific. I, yeah, I see it too. It's right here. I mean, I guess the fact that that's the only one that made the Billboard Hot 100. That's I that's guess, the only. Yeah. But it went to top ten for sure. Yeah, it was considered so controversial. Mm-hmm. All which is all overweight women. Please report oh. all overweight white women. Please report to the dance floor now. Yes. <laughs> Because I do got back, guys. <laughs> it's my song. It's my song. He's talking about me. I'm sexy. Yeah. In my jorts. Right. Um. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. Yeah. How do you put him on there? There's there's a couple of... Oh, I I'm too f- sexy by right. Yes. Fred? Oh, uh, fuck. That's a great one. The one that I really wanted to go with is one that nobody knows. Diddy by Paperboy. Love that fucking song. Uh, how about do it, that thing you do, which is fake, but... By The Wonders? By The I Wonders. Mean, no, that was a number one hit. That, that made number one. Did it really? Yeah. That's fucking awesome. Um, Blind Melon, No Rain was one. Yeah, I don't know like that, that one. one. And then uh, the pro- or not the, the Proclaimers, Five Thousand Miles, Crash Test Dummies. Oh God damn! Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. five hundred miles. Jesus, you're hit, you're hitting a whole well, bunch more. Yeah. Now nah, the Crash Test Dummies had two hits. What was the other? Uh, one? Okay. Superman. Uh, how about ooh. Superman? How about the uh, I Superman. would walk. A uh, hundred miles. That's, that's, that's the yeah, proclaimers. That's, that's the proclaimers. Okay. 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 Oh, 5,000 miles. Okay. Yeah. Or 500 miles. Whatever it is. Okay. I'd walk 500 miles. Uh, Scott, they're from Scotland. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, anyways. Pop Goes the Weasel by Third Base. Yeah. That is that really a fucking song? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Anyways, guys, that is our draft for this week. Again, you can go to Facebook.com and vote for your favorite what, list. What about... Wanna, uh, be a, wanna Be a Bala? Yeah. That's a good one. Pastor oh. Troy. I mean, they're newer, but... Rubber Boot Boogie by the Molotov Spritzer. <laughs> <laughs> Love them. Yeah, they're good. Uh, but you can vote by vo- or by clicking on the corresponding emoji of your favorite list of favorite one-hit wonders. It'll be on Facebook Wednesday right before lunchtime, so do check that out and vote to see who gets the championship picks next week. But now, this can, is... Can I, uh, can I, before we go into the break here, fuck! I want to get this out just because we've been talking wolves. Okay. A bit that I was never really able to get to work on stage mm-hmm. uh, about, you know, the saying, a wolf in sheep's clothing? Yeah. That old saying? Yeah. Does that mean it's like, you know, somebody you can't trust or somebody who's really dangerous to fuck? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. honestly, I mean, when it comes to animal fucking, sheep are the low-hanging fruit. Right. You you don't even need a hard dick. Or ostriches. But, yeah. you nah, can just, it takes at least three people to fucking ostrich. Uh, okay. Yeah. I mean, where's a fucking sheep going to go? Mm. But a wolf... You know, they're fucking dangerous. You can't just go sidling up to a wolf with a half hard dick in your hand like you're apple picking. Right. You you gotta be ready, pants off your ankles. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have to sneak up on it, right? And right. then you find one in fucking sheep's clothes. Mm-hmm. Oh, that fucker's gonna turn around and get you. Mm-hmm. For sure it is. Yep. Or does it mean that it's fucking adorable? Yeah. <laughs> How Jeez. cute would that be? My dog, we dressed him up like a bumblebee for Halloween. Fucking adorable. Oh, I think God. they were just seeing the future. Like that right. wolf identifies as a sheep. Right. Mm. Yeah. Like they were just, they were woke mm-hmm. before woke was woke. Sure right? they were. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody always talked about Looney Tunes. They were, how woke they were. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, you had Sam. Wasn't it Sam? Yeah, Sam, Sam and Sam's? Ralph. Yeah. Oh. Sam I am? No. Oh. Sam the sheepdog and oh, gotcha. Ralph the. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Martin yeah. Sam. Martin Ralph. Oh, all right. Well, anyways, guys, in. now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is our laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is our laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Uh, you know, September 17th. I may have already done this one. I don't care. I'm going <laughs> to... Uh, I, I, I have shown throughout the last, uh, what, three and a half years or whatever we've been doing this, that uh, the listeners mean shit to me. <laughs> and so if they're getting the second one, getting the same one for the second time, fuck them. Uh, September 17th, 1862, primarily known in the historical world as uh, the day of the Battle of Antietam during the American Civil War. Um A little bit lesser known, however, is uh, that just 200 miles away in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, uh, a series of three explosions could be heard at the Allegheny 
A L L E G H E N Y Arsenal. Oh, that was there. Um, in what would be the worst industrial accident of the Civil War? Because you know we're all sitting here thinking, what was the worst industrial accident <laughs> of the Civil War? Um, an investigation showed that basically what happened was um, as a horse was walking through, uh, the metal shoe on it hit a cobblestone, making a spark which hit some loose gunpowder on the ground, which then traveled into some stores of gunpowder and set off a chain reaction of three huge fucking explosions that could be heard from miles around, resulting in 78 dead. And because it was the Civil War and most of the men uh, were off fighting in the war, the majority of those who died were women and children uh 54 of those bodies could not be identified they were so badly burned up but they did find those bodies and now they are buried in a mass grave and now your child can recreate the magic of this moment using nothing but a little imagination and legos legos Never looked a gift horse in the shoe. <laughs> horses are badass. Hey, man, horses. horses are, man. Yeah. Especially at a rave. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, fuck that. Yeah. Got to let it. Forgot I wonder if this is how fucking Smokey got made. Because <laughs> I can't be. imagine that fucking horse survived. No. No way. Or there's got to be arsonist horses, don't there? Yeah, probably. That's my favorite breed. Yeah. The arsonist horse. It's like the horse that uh, that that ghost Thorough rider man. that ghost rider rides. Oh no, that's a motorcycle. Well, one of the ghost riders, one Rode of the, horse? the original ghost riders. Yeah, Sam Rode. Elliott's character in that awful movie. Okay, there's, there's yeah. a headless horseman too. Yeah, that's true. But that horse wasn't on fire, yeah. was it? Oh God! By the way, if you haven't uh, seen the SNL sketch with John Mulaney uh-huh. with the headless horseman, oh yeah, <laughs> one of the funniest of all time. Yeah. I have not. I'll have to look so it. So your head is right there. Can you take it and just like you know? On yourself? <laughs> I mean, it's right there. You're holding it. What? No. <laughs> uh, Love it. Good deal. All right. Uh, actually, before we get to uh, the shitty situation, there was a question that Jeremy found, and he was very, very interested in answering it, and that was from a fan named Lucas Trepanier. Is that right? <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. I don't, I don't know this Trepanier. asshole. It's Trepanier I'm, or Trepanier. I don't like Trepanier. the fact that he used my name in the question. Oh, yeah. I, you addressed me indirectly. Yeah, he uh, he sent Jeremy a message, and it said, Jeremy, I know that you love Otis elevators. Do of course you, I do. Do you like Otis escalators? Here is what really sparked my interest in this question. Um, Lucas here has actually proven my science teacher wrong. <laughs> there are stupid questions. <laughs> Of course, I like Otis escalators. You dumb fuck. That's the Rolls Royce of, of escalators. I dri- I'll, I don't. I I love them so much. I won't ride on one unless I'm in formal garb. <laughs> yeah, I be will rent a, tux. a tuxedo or at least a three piece suit before I ride on one. And if you don't do the same, if you go on on a fucking Otis escalator in shorts and flip flops, you are a fucking cretin. Right. That's where I'm at with that. So fuck you for asking that, Luke. Absolutely. Yes. And, and and Lucas. Uh, and your stupid French name. Otis escalators are fucking awesome. Yeah, they are. God damn. You just can't match the the luxury and the engineering that goes into an Otis escalator. Yeah, he says Rolls Royce. I'm saying like Land Rover. Now, okay, by the way, that's pre-1982. Tesla. You know what? Fuck it. We're talking about Elon Musk. It's a Tesla. It's the Tesla of the escalators. Well, you're pretty passionate about that, Scotty. I am. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll say that. Right. Um, but now this is pre-1982. Okay. Then they got bought out by Hyundai, uh-huh. and they just don't make them like they used to. They got yeah. that 10-year warranty on them, sure. for sure. But uh, most of your finer escalators you're going to find are, you know, pre-disco era. Right. Okay. But uh, our shitty situation of the week is, would you rather... Have to declaw a feral cat that is awake or take a baseball from an angry wolf. Ooh. Yeah. Here's the thing. Uh-huh. I'm deathly allergic to cats. Oh, yeah. Mm. And because of that, I fucking hate cats. So if I can give that cat a little bit of pain, mm-hmm. it might make me feel a little pretty good. Yeah. Give me a little hard. Sure. Hot and bothered. Mm. Uh, I'm not very. I'm not. A, you, you'd never know this by looking at me. Mm. But I'm not much of a runner. 
No shit. Huh. Yeah, surprising. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I look like I'm in tip top shape. Absolutely. Uh, so I don't know if I'd be able to chase this wolf all around a goddamn ball field, mm-hmm. trying to take the ball away from him. But yeah. dogs are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for the wolf. Really? I'm gonna t- I'm chasing that wolf down. Okay. All right. That's fine. Uh, I'm going after the fucking cat. I know for a fact that that cat is going to claw the ever living shit out of me and mm-hmm. it's going to hurt. I'm going to get some joy out of it because I also do not like cats. So there's that. Um, a wolf will fucking kill you. Oh, a cat would kill me too. I'm pretty allergic. So. Well, you might, you might be. Um, but yeah, fuck that cat. I'm not trying to take, take a squeaky baseball away from a wolf. You know what I mean? Yeah, have you seen those videos though where they put a fucking blanket up? And then they drop the blanket, and yeah. the dog is like, "What the fuck did he go?" That's for, that's like in front of a Siberian husky. That's not a fucking wolf. Yeah, yeah well, but, a wolf is not a dog, and that's actually the cause of most wolf attacks these yes. days. The They're trying people, to do magic tricks. Uh, at fucking yeah. Yeah. exactly. That's yes, it. that's where I was going with that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. People, they, it's for TikTok views. Mm-hmm. They just go out into the, the fucking yeah. Patagonia, and they're like, "All right, I'm going to get this fucking wolf. <laughs> I'm going to trick him. Mm-hmm. Watch this shit. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go on a fucking nature hike. Suddenly, you're fucking David Copperfield. <laughs> right? Nothing up my sleeves. Mm-hmm. The fucking wolf doesn't care about your sleeves. I right. can smell a deer penis from a mile away, though. A hundred percent. Sure can. Absolutely, they right. can. They can smell it on a female deer. Yeah. That's a doe. <laughs> yeah, the deer, the female deer. Ah, uh, oh yeah, mm. doe, ray. Me, you gonna do the rest of them? What are you talking about? Oh, you know, a ray of uh, was it sparkles, yeah. golden sun, or some shit like that. Far a long, long way to go. Hey Siri, <laughs> call Trill Sports. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's we fucking know funny. Is Biggins West on North Mays Road. <laughs> <laughs> they got trail sports? They must I had no <laughs> idea that those guys were located I at Biggins. I didn't either. <laughs> huh. I was just there yesterday. <laughs> that's just not too far from here. No shit. Oh, if man. you want to know where we're at, we're at Scotty's house. The address here yeah, no. is 1111. Uh-uh. Yeah, no, no, no. No, no. Thank God. 1111111111. All right. Uh, Zero eight. one. Right. It's binary. Uh, but no, that's uh, that's it's all I got. It's non-binary. Scotty's right. house is non-binary. No, it's not. <laughs> got the wokest house in town. Right. Absolutely. It identifies anyway. as an apartment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, it, it identifies as a, as a housing facility for young children. Right. Got it. All right, guys. That's all I got for this week. Uh, do you have... Uh, no, that's this button down do, here. Do I get to pick uh, one? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you did. You were just what over the there. What the fuck were you listening? You've got fucking Trill Sports in your headphones. No. God damn it. No, I just wasn't paying attention to you. Even you can't stand this bullshit. I know. Uh, But yeah, go ahead, Jeremy. I'm definitely going the wolf. That was last episode. Nope, it's two episodes. Go ahead, Jeremy. Seriously, I want to show... (laughs) I I want to ram a fistful of deer dick (laughs) down your throat. Penis, Jeremy, dear penis. Yeah, dear, dear penis. I'm too angry to say penis. <laughs> Every time you open your mouth, you lose <laughs> listeners. Okay. I'm about to go into my answer on a <laughs> shitty situation. Okay, go ahead. I'll stop. I'll be quiet. Jeremy? <laughs> what were we talking about? <laughs> Would you rather have to declaw a feral cat for, that's awake or take a baseball from an angry wolf. I'm going the wolf. Okay. For sure. Okay. Either one of them is going to leave you very, very scarred up. Mm-hmm. And if you go around people, they will inevitably ask, how'd you get them scars? You can either go, I was playing a kitty cat, <laughs> or I was trying to take a ball from a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention... You know, the fucking brick hands on those things, he's going to bobble it at some point. Yeah. They can't True. field for shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> fucking wolves. <laughs> I'm a little angry. I picked one first on my fantasy team a couple of years ago, and boy, that was a fucking mistake. Yeah. Then there's nobody to trade with them. They're, they fucking tear UCLs like you wouldn't believe. Mm-hmm. Sure. That's actually the cause of most pitchers tearing. Their, Tommy John surgery was invented because of wolf attack. Right. <laughs> shit. <laughs> okay. Now, right. now, 
That is uh, the rest that we have for this week's Can episode. Can I go now? Shut up. You just went. No, he means no oh. leave. Oh, yeah, you, you can. You can. All right. I see what he's putting down. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, uh, Derek, I don't like these stairs. We should put it in an escalator. I know. Uh, Derek, oh, do, you have, yeah, do you have any shows coming up that you're aware of? No. Jeremy, are you going to be here next week? I don't know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> to be honest with you, I do not know. Fair enough. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is all we have for this week's episode. Thank you so much for everything that you guys do for us. We really do appreciate it, sharing the show and telling your friends about it. We sincerely do appreciate it. As always, we always like to say, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us... Uh, We hope you took a whole bunch of X-lax, do a handstand, and that's the only way you can shit. (laughs) If you don't like us... Tell your your enemy. And until next time, guys. Uh, Chronic heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. (laughs) Until next time. People have an answer. We will see y'all later. Take care.